What's the deal? What's the deal, y'all? Can y'all hear me? Do you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? What it do, what it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in the studio today. You already know the vibes. Real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me get the sponsors in. Hey, G. What it do, my guy? Bless up, bless up. All right. Let's hear that. What? Bing bang. You already know what time it is, man. Shout out to the sponsors. Lux Quality Frenchies. Chassis. 0209. Best Friend Frenchies. MIA. Rainbow League Frenchies. NC Frenchie Family. Westbred Frenchies. Wilder Bulldog Kennels. Doggy Style. And a cut from above backup page so that is a underscore cut underscore f i mean from underscore above underscore backup so give my boy a cut from above a follow you know his page got messed up got clipped so you know what i'm saying get him in tune get him you know what i'm saying get him real get him right so i'll give him a follow mac vane what it do my god much love and blessings to everybody who joined the live. Let me scroll back up, see what's going on in here. Oh, we got Baza in the building. Shout out to Baza. Big dog Baza. You already know Leo Gang vibes. You already know how we do. Georgia Lee in the building. You already know the vibe. Taylor Bulldogs, what it do? Yo, yo, what's up? We got, damn, we got everybody in here today. Let's get to this gang gang movement then. WC Bullies, what it do, King? You already know. La Familia, what's good? You already know the vibes, La Familia, Frenchies Empire. This is a vibe here today. Can't stop reloaded, I see you, fam. What's good, Els? Y'all yeah, share the live, man. Hit the airplay button. Let's get this thing started. Lex, Lex Diamond Exotic Kennels. Yes, I see you. Buddy's Gift. Yes, yes, I see you. What it do? What it do? Liddy's Frenchies. Everybody in the building. Yeah, like I said, man. The Notorious Piggy. What's up? You already know. Can't stop. Much love. You know we can't stop. Won't stop. You already know, blinging bullies. Yes, 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 we do, we do. Much love, I appreciate the love, man. Oh, shit, we almost at that gang gang time. We almost at the gang gang time where it's full of vibes. Yes, Baza, you already know, my G. Much love. Manap, I see you. Yo, yes, that live was crazy. You already <laughs> Yes, it do. It, it be vibes. It be spice. Els, what's up? What's up? Best friend Frenchies underscore MIA. One of the sponsors is in the building. Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Get this vibes right. You know, we had to get it, you know, loud and out of control because we we on tilt. We on tilt today. So hold on. Let me get this thing right. Let's get it. What it do, bully bar? What it do? what it is bully ball let me see all right y'all already know what time it is right y'all know what time it is right y'all know it's gang gang vibes right all right so gang gang vibes is the part of the live where we get like 30 viewers in here and we just start naming out our city and where we from right so y'all know how i go either your country your city your state wherever you want to rep just rep your city, rep where you from, and the gang gang title will be announced after we read all the votes. Let's go, let's go. Time to drop some bombs. Let's go. Houston, Texas is in the building. Yes, I see y'all. Stockton, California, Stockton. I see you. Atlanta is in the building. Yes, Louisiana is in the building. I'm not trying to catch a Rico now. <laughs> 
Houston is in the building. Oh shit. Crater Philly, um, South Wales, okay. LBC, Hawaii is in the house. Oh shit. And my age, shout out to my boy Donald from Hawaii representing. Florida is here. Yes. Florida is in the building. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, the Philly with South Wales again. Okay, it's lit. I see the vibes. I see what's going on. La Virginia. VA. Okay, there we go. Where we go? Cali again. There we go. Bingo. The Bay Area is in here for sure. Shout out London, mate. Big PDX. Uh, I don't know what that's at. Portland. Okay, there we go. Portland in the building. 503, my boy representing. You already know the vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, what it do? Seven, the Frenchie, what it is, my God. Texas born in the building. That's right. You already know. Holly. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to LA in the building. Okay, boom. We got Frenchie Frenzy. What's good, my God? UK, yes, UK. GA again. Okay. Atlanta representing. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Let's go. Is the mic still too loud, y'all? Is the mic still too loud? Am I good? Can I yell and shout? <laughs> Sacramento. Okay. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, bro. It's between London and Sacramento and, and Cali. And Atlanta. Atlanta coming in strong. Let's go. Central California. Okay. They represent in Cali. Okay. There we go. Damn, man. I ain't gonna lie. I need to get some people in here. Okay, the mic is cool. Thank you, thank you. Man, that's what's up. All right, boom. I need to get some people in here to help me uh, decide what they feel like, you know, an honest opinion on who you felt won the gang gang title. You know what I'm saying? Damn, somebody was in the live. I was so hyped, they just left. What the hell? Man, boutique, you tripping, dog. You got it. Welcome. Oh, Cali again. I see you. So I. I just got a call. My fault, man. You already know the vibes is lit. Bro. Once again, I'm going to read out the sponsors. Shout out to Lux Quality Frenchies. Cassie 0209. Best Friend Frenchies underscore MIA. Rainbow League Frenchies. NC Frenchie Family. Westbred Frenchies. Wilder Bulldog Kennels. Doggy Style. And a cut from above back up, right? All right, now I'm going to need y'all to help me out here real quick. Yeah, yeah, I think Cali took that one. I ain't gonna lie. UK came in second and Atlanta came in third for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for the help. We did it. We did it. We did it. Atlanta came and represented today. I ain't even gonna lie. Atlanta was in here showing now. Georgia in general. You know what I'm saying? Let me get, I'm gonna come right back. Let me get this last sponsor in. I'm gonna need one of y'all to um, pin it for me. In the questions, and we gonna continue on with the podcast. Where you already know the vibes. All right, so somebody, real quick, um, I'm about to comment. Dogtown Frenchie Collection. I'm going to need somebody, anybody, a good Samaritan to just repost it in the Q&A section of the live so I can put it on the bottom and everybody get their due diligence. We got some new sponsors, y'all. So I got to, you know, support everybody, you know. It is what it is. So help me out. All of them can't fit in that pen. So, you know, if anybody could help me out, you know, 
I appreciate it. Just put Dogtown Frenchies collection, just how you see it right there in the Q&A part of the live. And then we could continue with the vibes. Let's go. What we doing today, for real? That's a good question. Man, yesterday we had a lit live. I ain't going to lie. Those are the lives that I'd be like, damn, I wish I would have recorded that one because it was just, it was made for TV. It was just vibes in there. It was just funny as hell. You know, it was just, it was, it was tasteful laughter. You know what I'm saying? So if you missed out on the live yesterday, try not to miss out on any more because those be the ones, man. Real. Okay. So, sir, thank you so much, man. Appreciate that, fam. Thank you, man. Shout out to Dogtown Frenchies. They are our newest sponsor. They'll be with us for the week. Um, a cut from above. He got litters on the ground. Don't forget about Doggy Style. Doggy Style. Make sure y'all follow Doggy Style for your leashes, your harnesses, all that good stuff. And uh, Doggy Merch with your custom dog merch. And if you're ready to, you know, you want to mess with them, all you got to do is type in um, Miami 10. And I think you'll get 10 or 20% off. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But for sure, we got you. Okay, Dogtown. Yeah, Dogtown Frenchie Collection. There you go. That's the right one. Let's go. Shout out to them, man. Good people. But yeah, man. Um, Yeah, today is a good day, you know. What's good, Pet Lover Central Cali? What to do? Chair the live people. Ireland is in the building. Shout out to amateur photography. AP. You know what I'm saying? London Bulls. Yes, yes, yes. We representing all over. Sometimes I feel like I could go live at any time of the day and have people to talk to because we got people from all over the world, you know, following and tuning in with the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Let me get somebody in here real quick. Y'all send some requests. Show off your dogs. This this the Show off your dog part of the live. You know what I'm saying? Oh, talk dog. Some of y'all welcome me to buy. What's up, bro? I got you. What it do, fam? How you doing, bro? Good, good. How are you? I've been all right, man. Taking it one day at a time. How you been doing, bro? Long time no see. Yeah, I don't uh, interact with in the lives, no nothing. Just here, relax, bro. <laughs> Word, you you in the crib? Yeah. You in the crib getting fat like me, huh? Big belly vibes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Like we gotta start working out, man. Um Pharaoh Yeah, I'm thinking Pharaoh is owned real quick by French Row Kennels. French Row dot kennels. If you're looking for Pharaoh, tell him boutique sent you. Cause I helped you out. That's all you gotta do. Spread the love. What you were saying, my boy? Shares. Shares, bro. Shares. Shares the <laughs> life, people. Share, share the life. Share the life, people. You already know the vibes. Yeah. Hey, this is the creator right here. I know a lot of y'all, they don't know what the hell is that share the life, people. This is the guy, <laughs> the famous guy who made that same popular. I know y'all see it in the lives on the pinned comments sometimes. You know what I'm saying? This is the co-founder of the term share the life, people. You feel Cheer me? Share the life, people. <laughs> <laughs> and he really yeah, said, yeah. share the life. But we turned it into cheer the life. L-I-F-E. People. P-E-P-O-L. You feel me? So this is the guy right yeah. here who made that talk famous, man. You feel me? We got made yeah, people you know in the Yeah. And that time I have a old cell phone, and all the time change me the 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 text. All the time mistake with the text, bro. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> oh man, your phone wasn't too smart back then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's all good, bro. Well, we like the vibes, man. We like the vibes. You definitely added a, a saying to the culture. You know what I'm saying? That's a you. A, yeah. You, you a trendsetter in your own way, my brother. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people. How is the weather right now with them? Oh, man, it's always good. You know, I live in South Florida, bro. It don't get no, you know, it's always great. So it's, it's, it's always no debate. You know what I'm saying? But great. It's, it's not too hot? Man, it's never. Never too hot for
My fault, my fault. Yo, two fly no, kennels okay. is what it do. I'll be getting calls, man. I put my phone on do not disturb and they still getting through, man. This phone ain't too smart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit is bullshit, Poppy. Hold on, yeah. let me see what it is. All right. Yeah. Does Pied Pattern you have show right now? Uh um no, I I will soon. I will soon. Somebody asks, does Pied Pattern show on a lilac and tan platinum pie dog or is it full cream? It's full cream. It's it's like it, you're not gonna see uh pie. You might you might. Sometimes you see the pie, but ninety percent of the time it'll be hidden. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a pie dog, you'll see like a pattern in a cream color of the pie, like that represents that the dog is pie. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that helped you out. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's what you get with a a a. a a platinum dog. It's just really cream. Whether it's pied or whether it carry pied or not, it'll be hidden. You know what I'm saying? But you, if you, you, you know, if it does have any spots, you'll tend to see it like the merle a little bit. Like I feel like merle and pied sometimes don't really get completely covered by cream. You know what I'm saying? You'll see certain little. You know, if you know what you know and your eye is good and you really love these dogs, you'll know. And you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man. I, I like when people test my intelligence. That'd be the fun part. You know? You always get to have fun with that. Help people out. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all be selling dogs to people and can't answer them simple questions when they ask. <laughs> be like what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I can't even see the chip too good. Uh cause your white background is fucking up the comments for me. I can't see shit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, y'all yeah, share right. their live people. Yeah. Is the wall? Yeah, yeah, it's the wall. You good, man. You good. I don't need to see the comments anyway. Rubio's Frenchies and Bullies, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. What's Stack up? Bulls. Yes, What's yes. Up, Phoenix. Bro? You need that. Frenchies. Yeah, you need that um that DNA so you know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh be boutique, you know your pie that Brendo facts. Yeah, you damn right. I know every fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. Chair the I think live the pie and the brand will come out. New, new later World got on. you. Look, New World got you. I see that one. Shout out to New World, man, and that that New World merch, man. It's 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 one of the best doggy dog God. merches around town. It's got a what? Yeah, 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 yeah. That new that uh, what is it called? NWA brand. Yes, yes, the NWA. Shout out to New World and the NWA brand. If you don't got a shirt, I don't know if you in the in the game, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause my boy New World <laughs> got it like that. He really represented. So tap in with yeah. New World and tap in with that NWA merch, man. That NWA brand merch, man. It's dope, man. It's definitely something to, you know, wear out to the movies, to dinner with your girl. You know what I'm saying? Even the club, sometimes you pop in bottom, they see you wearing that merch, they be like, yo, what the dope. All right, yeah, post mm -hmm. only dropped two days ago, bro. Was... Okay, Rob, we'll see you later. All right, thank you for nice joining the you. live, man. You already know, always love, my brother. Bless up. Bless him. Right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You too, bro. All right, respect, see you. respect. Nah, New World don't love drama, man. He be, I mean, sometimes he be, you know, he be entertaining it, like we all do. But, you know, when it get too crazy, he know what to do. Uh, so love. Yeah, man. Nasty girl. You want me to tell you something about yourself? You messy. I guess that's why they call you nasty girl, huh? But you just messy. <laughs> <laughs> you messy and mixy. You know, you mixy. You like the mix. So, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, you cool though. You you the you I'm gonna start calling you Eminem. Messy and mixy. <laughs> Let's laugh about that. 
<laughs> what it do? Oh, hey, from now on, when y'all see nasty girl in the comments, y'all just type Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Because she is, she is just, you know, messy and mixy. That's what we call her. M and M, <laughs> M and M, because she is messy and mixy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out everybody in the live though, man. Send us some requests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm messy, clean your teeth. Oh, don't talk about me. My shit white, and I don't even got veneers. So let's not go there. <laughs> don't take it personal because you messy and mixy. You know what I'm saying? I gave you a new nickname. You want to tell me about clean my teeth? Let me tell you something about me. The whole live know about me. That's why they come to my channel too. Is they know before I get on this shit, the teeth got to be brushed. They done seen people request me and they live and I'm laying down in my bed and I accept the live, but I'm right in that at that sink brushing my teeth before we even start talking or delaying any kind of in information. You know what I'm saying? So this is why people come over here because they know like it's, it's, it's lit. You feel me? It's, it's clean breath, clean teeth. No ginger in the mouth. Everything good. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. It's just a vibe over here. You know it. So that's why you over here. Because you want to look all in the nigga mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that new logo and over like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know, man. Much love, bro. Blessings, man. I appreciate you, man. You know, we got to update and elevate ourselves, you know, sometimes. So it's that time for sure, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this today's live, I'm not going to stay too long. It's only going to be like an hour. You know what I'm saying? Only going to be like an hour. Um, but, um, yeah, yeah. Said, how many pups did you sell to get them teeth? These ain't, these ain't veneers. That's why I keep telling you, you got to listen. Listen. You're a little slow. I think you're a little slow because <laughs> you don't listen. Like, your joke's not even punching right because you don't listen, bro. Like, listen. You, you'll connect a little better. You feel me? So we going to laugh at you. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Nasty Girl making the live a little. I don't know. Jack, what it do, my guy? Bless up, my guy. You already know, my God, Jack, stay real. You know what I'm saying? Stay real, never fail. Always got that, that spliff, so he never fail. He always got a dab, so he never fail. You know what I'm saying? He never fail with the spliff or the dab. So shout out to Jack. Uh, nasty girl thinking of her next joke right now. Like, fuck, what am I going to say? Taking forever. Doing a bunch of spell check, because you know she can, he or she can't even spell. <laughs> What it do, what it do. Nah, we just chilling though, man. We vibing in the studio like a big booty groovy. You already know the vibe. Thank you all, everybody, always showing love and support day in and day out. You know what I'm saying? Blue Magic Bulls, what it do. I'm still waiting for my sign, dog. What it is, dog. Uh, I think, hold on, uh, I think the fake, hold on, I think the fake, like, China boys, big ropes, Jack, how's your fluffy? Man, hey, Jack, don't pay them no mind, dog. This, uh, we call her Eminem, you know, messy and mixy, so, you know, don't pay them no mind. Wayne Nurse, what it do? Barbados is in the building, for sure. Let me see who this, who this, who this is. What's going on, bro? What's going on, my guy? What it do, man? I'm trying to turn this camera around. Okay. But, uh, yeah, man, so I'm new in this Frenchie game, right? Yeah. And uh, I've been bringing, like, pressers. And I bred presser Canario since, like, 2011 and everything. Mm -hmm. So, uh. I just want to know, how do you guys choose what dog you want to go to as far as, do you choose a dog in front of you? Yeah. Or are you looking at the dog's pedigree for the most part? Because I understand a lot of these big breeders got dogs 
Um, got a lot of dogs. And they can throw papers on stuff. I ain't stupid, man. People throw papers on dogs. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> I, you know, it's regardless of whatever breach. Yeah. Right? What you do um, is the, the way to, to deflect that or to succeed in that is you look at what you see. Everybody got an attraction to what they eye visually accepts. You know what I'm saying? So now right. after that, you see what you like. Then you go do your homework on the productions of what they promote in or people who's had litters off this, this name that you, you like. And then if it shows right. improve, then you go back and you ask those, you ask the breeder. So like, what's the pedigree? What's the names on the pedigree? Da, 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 da. Then, and then it'll line up with, you know, what you envisioning or whatever, man. You can ask certain names on the pedigree. And then once you do that, they got a website called Ingress that if you want to see if they capping or not, you just go on there and type in whatever names they might say. Now, some names always change from what the dog really is. So they go by different shit okay. on paper. You know what I'm saying? So once you go on right, there right, now right. and you look at that, it's going to show when you scroll down to the bottom, it's going to show you a family tree of what dogs that dog came from and bomb, bomb, bomb. So everything that the breeder is telling you should line up with what you seeing on that computer. You get what I'm saying? Now, not every dog okay, is so, going to be on Ingress. So either. it's like a database then, right? Yeah. It's yeah. like a Frenchy database. Yeah. Yeah. And do you add, can you add your own dogs on there or, or how, how, do, how does that work? Um, I believe so. But, um, Another way is going to automatically, like, if your dog is, like, like sought after and in that Google search analytic, then the, um, oh, okay, okay. it'll automatically put your dog in there and have pictures of your dog based on, you know, okay. yeah, the popularity of your dog or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So, like, gotcha. every, every dog comes from a famous dog that's on that website. And then you'll see it to match up. Like, my girl, Little Predator Blue Fire is a famous dog from Hungary. And that's, like, on her third generation, top of the line. You know what I'm saying? On the dad's side. Yeah. So that's really how I'm able to know, okay, I'm working with something. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, boom, boom. And then other people will let me know, oh, you got that on your pet? Oh, they top dogs. They've been, you know, they probably, you know, was here yesterday but gone today or whatever the you know whatever the case might be but those guys got a name and they did their thing and they you know they made their fame and paved their way you know so that's how you'll know right. I'm, I'm working with something reputable and, and i got something but yo i got somebody oh. for you who um just give me a follow or whatever and after the live we could exchange info because um i got somebody who want to press up if you you still breed them yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm always having uh, my presses too, man. Yeah. I'm a big guy. I like big dogs too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You like shit that's hey, you know, I met you at, uh, I met you at, I met you in Cali at the show in Cali. You don't remember, uh, well, the, the tall dude, man, about blocking your face, but I think I do now. Oh. Uh, yeah. The hold on. Let me turn off the comments real quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do remember faces. I always remember faces. For sure. <laughs> for sure yeah. Yep. Yeah, man. Okay. Good to see you again, man. You know? So that means we yes, already sir. following yes, each sir. other. Because I made sure that day at, at the show, I follow back everybody that would. You know, sometimes you get off these lives, it'd be too much to go through all the followers. and You know what I'm saying? Oh, I so, understand. Yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah, like, yeah. it'd be too much. I, I'm already taking time away from my life to do these and, like, be on here for two, three hours. And then to go in for another hour looking at everybody page and be like, man... Yeah. I meet you in person and we correlate ourselves together. Yo, you following me? Yo, let me follow you back right now. Put your Instagram in my phone. You know what I'm saying? That's the, the love and support I get back. You know what I'm saying? Right. You coming to the show in, in Atlanta, right? Because I'm from Atlanta. You coming to the show in Atlanta on the oh, September yeah. 10th, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. Yeah, I just bought a booth. I just got a booth there too. So Yeah, I'm gonna pull and, up on and you. That's, and, and for sure. Now uh and the reason why I asked those questions too before, man, because that's how I started off picking my dogs. Same way how right? I explained it, right? 
Well, I, I went off the dog in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But you ain't doing nothing wrong. You 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 breed dogs. Right. You're a dog man, and you know how a dog's supposed sure. to look. So yeah. That's different. How it's supposed to look, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and I've been having a lot of people tell me my dog's been looking all right. I ain't... I didn't know, especially just like how the Frenchy community is, but a lot of the guys that I've been running into, you know, told me I'm doing all right with them dogs, man. And I like your dog, Weefy Poppy, too. Yeah, thank you, bro. To, uh, yeah, tap in with to, me uh, in the DM. In yeah, yeah, tap in. I'll, I'll video call sure. you, show you his strip. Man, I ain't going to lie, hands down, best dog in the camp right now. <laughs> Real talk. You know what I'm saying? When sure. it comes to structure, with that, you know, base coat, not even a base coat. It come with a little, you know, a little sprinkle to the DNA. It got something, a right. nice canvas to work with when it come to DNA. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a sure, lot, sure. lot, lot like a tan, visual fluffy. You know, that's where it's at. You know, I mean, obviously, definitely, they definitely. got the new shades out right now. But I'm in my lane, and I'm doing what I do. Because, I my, my look, this is my, my dream was to always have a lot like a tan. You get what I'm saying? Right. And I end up with one. Like, I love this so much. I babysit my boy dog for a couple months, like five months. <laughs> Just because I love right, them dogs right. so much. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I'm a real dog yeah. person. You feel me? So I really babysit the dog. And then, like, that last, you know, I'm like, damn, I got this dog in my house. Like, let's let's try to see if he could hit for something. So one day I put him on the, on the line, and I was like, yo, lock in this dog. Bam, bam, bam. People started jumping at it. And then it was like, um, damn, you can't even lock it in because I linked the dude. I asked him if he, he showed me a papers. I thought he had the AKC, but he said he didn't have the AKC and the people wanted 2400 for it. When he bought the people, wanted 25 or 24. He bought the dog for two bags. They want 24 for the paperwork. I'm like, what? So, so all he you had to do is put in 400 more dollars? No, he had to pay another. Oh, they 20. wanted an extra twenty-four. Yeah, I'm, he asked me if it's worth it. I said, "Man, no, nah. keep that dog as a pet." <laughs> you feel me? And, and just rock out. You feel me? Because I got Weefy Poppy coming in the town. You know, just get your dog. Here go your dog. You know what I'm saying? He 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 said he's thinking about um selling them or whatever. And I'm like, all right, I probably got I probably got somebody for you who want a pet. Or whatever, I definitely, but I, I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't. And, and then the thing is, like, you know, he, we, the dog is, is, is trained when it want to be. It has its days. And then it has its days where it be like, I want to shit in my cage. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, <laughs> nah, yo, Weefy Poppy came home eight weeks old, bro. Eight weeks old. He does, he has not shit in my crib yet, bro. And I had them since Saturday. Hey, I love. Hey, look, I love that too, man. I like going for clean dogs as well, man. Like, yeah. I feel like that's that's genetic, man. That like, is, and I, I learned hate something a nasty new with him, dog, bro. Yep, I learned something new with Weefy with that right there. I I swear to God, I was like, yo, this dog. It only I got the little cage where it piss and it go down to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you got the little tray at the bottom. Yeah, so I'm, I'm waiting for him to shit. What's good, fam? Well, I, I swear bro. to you not. He might whine. That's when what's I know on, bro? I'm going to bring him outside. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, right. what's good? Congrats. I see where you got a new place or something. Nah, I'm not fucking opening my door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, look. Yeah, like I said, he eight weeks old, bro. Not one shit in the crib, just pissing the cave. And, and I walk him hey, like that's, on a hey, leash. That's good, bro. He he, eight weeks old walking on a leash, bro. Not gonna say he's perfect, but he's 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 fucking perfect for eight weeks. I tell you he's that. Doing it, yeah, yeah, for sure. He's showing me he's show ready. And I like, I like, and he's a stud. Man. That's one thing he's showing me straight up. Like before anything, I he, like confidence in the dog, bro. Bro, like, for real. No matter how, no matter how small or how big they are, I love that confidence, man. Yeah, like, bro. So I, I spoke, yeah. you know, I spoke to a couple people today, and um, right now, you know, we we, we definitely we, we we happy that you know people taking a liking to Weefy Poppy, man, for sure, bro. And I appreciate you for even wanting to lock him in. You know what I'm saying? Because there'd be a lot of like 
you know, funny vibes and stuff, but, you know, they can't stop the good energy at all times. Like, it's always yeah, there. Yeah, I like structure, too, bro. Oh you know, that got to be... I, I like the DNA. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I shoot for the DNA. Oh, yeah, gummy's uh, still available, too. It, yeah. Go ahead, but it's still got to have that... It still got to have that look for me. Yo, bro, he got it. He's well-proportioned. Box shape. Big boy. You feel me? Like, healthy. Wealthy. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? So right now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been, you know, showing gummies too much because right now, like, he's a bit sick. He got, I don't like, think I've seen him, though. He's he nice, too. He new shade Isabella Merle, but he's a little sick right now. We get he, we getting him right. Are you talking about the puppy? Yeah, yeah, I got two puppies. Mr. Gummies. And yeah, I, I think I saw I saw that. I saw that. I saw you I saw you purchase one. Yeah. Yeah, and we feel Man, I was trying it. to tap in with you this all week, man, cuz I was in the I was in Miami. I did two breeders out there. Oh, I was shit. in Miami. You I was at a call me, bro. My my Instagram number, that contact is how you get to my phone. For all y'all in the live. Oh. And for the 20 some odd people in the live, make sure y'all go to the in the um YouTube page and tap in with the YouTube, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man, I had bread to Illuminati and Mr. COVID. You know them dogs? Yeah, Mr. COVID, he good. Um, Illuminati, no. no. I don't, I'm not the guy who know every dog on the market. I'm more focused on, right, right, you know, right. You know I don't want pe other people's visions tainting my vision. So if, if your name oh, is Bells, I'm going to know about you. But other than that, I'm just tunnel vision with it. You feel me? For sure, for sure. But yeah, COVID, you, Mr. COVID know, name definitely okay. ringing bells. I know about him. He a new shade is a bell of Merle. Yeah, and that's what I, I took it in one of my small um, Isabella carriers and stuff. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that should yeah. that should work out. That's, good. The, that's what made me like the French. I love that Isabella color. Yeah. Like you like the uh, uh, lilacs. I love that Isabella color. Yeah, I, I got one too. That's why I, I it's those two yeah. for me. Those two for me. I ain't gonna lie. For sure. For sure. First, like, for first, sure. looking at Frenchies from the first Frenchie. Oh, I need a lot like in 10. That's the, the shit I like. You know? Then, right. moving in, l learning, seeing everything. I, 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 I'm like, yo, that fucking Isabella remind me of Red Nose Pit. I ain't even gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and that's why I gravitated towards that because a Red Nose Pit was my first dog. You know what I'm saying? So my first dog owned. So I said, I said, yo. So I'd always make jokes. I'd be like, yeah, the Isabella came from the pit bull. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it looked like a pit. <laughs> right. You know, I always be yeah. joking. And yeah, no doubt. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, okay. man. But um. Yeah, man. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool talking to you, bro. I uh, appreciate you letting me come on your live and everything. So yeah, yeah, man. I'm Anytime, still new, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to soak up as much game as I got. Trying to find my own lane and and everything like that. So. That's what it all matters. Like you create a vision in your head. Like right now, I'm about to start like working on my own bloodline with with blues. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like blue brindles, whatever. Like I'm I'm about to do my own shit. So. We bring in that flavor to the East Coast because it was it was created from, you know, that whole Lamadena Dell and all that vibe on the West Coast with the whole Grinchies and all the XDs and all that. So now we put in bringing a canvas to the East Coast. So, you know, people don't even got to go that far or even worry about what's over there like that. They, they represent what's over here on the East Coast. But we using the same base coat that was used in a sense to create what's over there on the west coast yeah, you west know what i'm saying coast, it's all structured dog that's all yeah it's yeah so, so that's what i'm gonna be west selling coast, in my, my next litter the yeah west, the west coast actually has everything bro <laughs> no no for sure but y'all don't got too much isabella's i could tell you that i've been to shows and it ain't too much isabella you know what i'm saying that's the full fluffy isabella come on I mean, Jax, because that's, that's Cali. That yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't too much, though. You know what you I mean? You feel me? It ain't too much. Shout out to Jack with that, you know, the the with the with Isabella Fluffy. I've been seeing a lot of that Full Isabella fluffy. out there in Texas. Full fluffy, yes, though, you know what I mean? yes. Texas, they got it. 
You know what I mean? Texas yeah. California, fucking only like a couple hours away from here. The same shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Texas then, got right. it. Then, then with you that. got then you got the then you got the hairless too here in LA, bro. That none of none nobody has around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, I can't but, fuck with that shit. Yeah, stuff. like the right, the right <laughs> hairless, like. You hair. see, hey, look, nah, that's I a, seen, I seen that hairless. Shit give me a little, give me the creeps, man. I yeah. can't deal with I that. See, man. All right, you see hairless that look like the the what's the name of that cat? The Shme, uh, what is it? Schmeagol? Yeah, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, Schmeagol, that cat right there. The yeah, hairless my man dogs bought his daughter one. That look like that is yeah. to me done correctly. The ones that look like alien skin. Yeah. The hairless ones that look like yeah, okay, okay, like crust and eczema. It's, yeah, I it, it, really, they, are they? Are, is that hair like when they hairless? Is that merle that they have like a, a hairless merle, like with all the different color spots on them and stuff like that? Is that normal? What? Like on their skin for the hairless ones? Is it normal for them to have like? Like they'll be dark and then have little white spots all on their legs, on their chest, like. Yeah, it's that's that's weird, because man. that's Merle, right? right? That's that's because it's like you'll see the regular genetics that the base coat of like say if it's pie. The pig, or, okay, okay, or, yeah. So that's why I was asking, was it like a Merle or something like? Yeah, is it, or if the it's pigmentation. Merle, some of the motherfuckers carry fluffy. <laughs> yeah, that shit For bug real? me out. Bug me the fuck <laughs> out. How you carry fluffy? How you ain't got no damn hair to carry fluffy, man? Fluffy, All right, you got to think. Now, some of them dogs wow. that come, that's hairless come from litters with dogs with hair. So three will be hurt, hairless, and three will have hair. And then he has the fucking the wire hair, too, the wire hair Frenchie, which is a new one. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one look like I it got a little... That, that, that one look like it got a jerry curl. Yeah. <laughs> Like a little S girl vibes, you feel know yeah. I me? Mean? <laughs> like it got it got shot with an S girl, like you know, like it the electric. That's why they call it wired here, cause it look like so, it's sticking up and it's curly, you know. So that that's what that is. I, I understand they look kind of funky right now, but you gotta give the guy props, bro. In a, in a couple of years, bro, those things are gonna be popping. It's only it's just a matter. Yeah. Of, but I mean, it's just a matter of time that he. Yeah, when they start to look like Frenchie. Yep, they also. You know what I'm saying? Like it, when they, it, yeah, yeah. You're like right. once the skin is okay. smooth and it look like a Frenchie, but it just don't got hair. Yeah. Yes, that's gonna be attractive. But yep. nothing that that shit right now look contagious. I'm gonna just keep yeah. it a hundred. Like, <laughs> like look hey, like something ain't right. And I'm not hating. Or I'm just speaking facts on what I see and right, what right. I, I and just not keeping it like fake as real as I can be. Like. That's not appealing to me yet. That should have stayed indoors a couple more <laughs> generations before it made it outside. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah. That dog looked like if, like right now, in the climate where you are outside, if you was to have them hairless outside with you, you'd probably be having a, a, a heat wave with that dog. That dog probably need rub alcohol kind of shit, all that. You feel me? Like, because it, it'll probably burn to death or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to put a little bit of some coconut oil and shit. Yeah. I yeah, just, all of Yeah, just, it's just like crater skin vibes. Like, I I'm just, not. Fuck him. I just bred her to Valor, so I'm going to go hit her again today. Yeah. Somebody said they look like an elephant scrotum. Yeah, you're right. Ruben, <laughs> what's the Ruben send a request, my guy? Show them pups. I seen them on your live, man. Show them pups, man. Yeah, no, he ain't lying though. Hey, I, and that's that's an right. OG, OG saying that. Like, you feel me? So come on, y'all gotta do better, man. Like, keep them shits inside, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the guy, you know, like for the ones that look nice, like the wire hair joint. That's cool, all that. But like. I haven't seen it. I want to see one of those too, though. Um, do it. Look, y'all follow each other, and um, my boy right there from Cali, he he could send you his page. Where I think is what is it called? Silver Star Frenchies yes. or something like. That. Yeah, yeah. Silver Star Frenchies. I said, Silver Star. All right. Yeah. Once you type in Silver Star, you'll see it'll pop up. You know what I'm saying? He just he he, he got some shit going. He doing something. He in a lane right. or nobody else, but. Man, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that shit be tripping me out when I see them shits too. I be like, 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 they're probably going to catch on for real, you know? Yeah, yeah, like I said, when the skin's smooth and they look like it could stretch, like the skin could yeah. stretch. Like I've seen skin. one. I promise, I've only seen one. Yeah. Like, dead serious. Everything you're describing you would want, it looked like... A French bulldog. It looked like... It looked so fucking good, bro, because like it a, did not have that oh, fuck okay. up ass elephant tight yeah. end. It ain't had eczema. Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. That? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it no, looked like. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm it didn't have that. It looked... I'm already thinking Smooth. When, I'm already thinking when that fool when that fool hits it with a big rope dog, he's gonna fucking kill it. I'm just they here, I promise you, they already here, but people holding them because they the people who got them smart as fuck. And that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, those big ropes, man, too. Are they putting sharp pay in them damn dogs? It's gonna kill it. Everything comes from somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, they yeah. don't matter for real. You know, once you get it right, it's right. Yeah, yeah. A hairless big rope. That's the way I feel about breeding you know, anything because sure. every dog is a mutt okay. until it's proven to have a standard, and for now sure. it's the breed. For sure, for sure. You know, everything fact. started hey, as you a must deal with, you must, Hey, hey, you must deal with working dogs. Or ah! you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who me? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the working okay. dog king right there. Hey, me too. Hey, right. I, hey, I, I can tell. I, 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 I see. Hey, look, man, I, I, I'm gonna I give you a follow. Go to my page, and you're gonna be happy when you see what my Frenchies do. I'll leave it at that. Yo, his friend. Yeah, my little hey, friend. Nah, my I'm little gonna, friend, I'm gonna kill the cool, surprise. Man. I'm gonna kill the surprise. <laughs> this motherfucker Frenchies be catching rats and, 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 and rabbits and <laughs> raccoons and just bringing them back home. Like, hey, look, Papa, look what I found. <laughs> man, working in Frenchies, boy. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah man, buddy. Yeah, yeah, they got a little spice to them, just a little bit. Yeah, man, I'm like, yo, yeah. this nigga, what? Hold on, what it really had in the mind? Rabbit one time, right? It oh, was I you. I think I might have showed you that in private. I don't know. Oh but no, 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 no. You no, that no. was a toy. It was a toy. That, that was, was a toy. That yeah. one with the first thing you saw was a toy, but but one Brown time Hall, I think I seen a yeah, like rat. a rat looking shit. Yeah, you had a caught yeah. a rat, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what the fuck it, oh, what yeah. the Frenchie's supposed to do any damn way. So you know his Frenchie's doing the right thing. You know, a lot of y'all Frenchie's <laughs> just build to jump up on the couch and bark when they hear the door. <laughs> yeah. This motherfucker Frenchie yeah. doing the right thing. You feel me? For real. I got many different directions with these dogs, just like people got with working lines. I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know so, it's a lot of people so who you like that. Teach your Frenchie. How to fucking rip out a nigga's Achilles tendon, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Uh, yeah, I'm working on that. That Attack right that there. Achilles, baby. Yo, bro, <laughs> rip that shit off and have the robber just lay in your house like, ah, ah. Hey, I got ah. one friend that could probably do that right now, man. And yeah. it's not even so much that they mean, don't have the, the great ability to actually hurt somebody, but we all know. These dogs are getting stolen. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's why I mentioned If your dog that. present itself, if your dog present itself in a certain way, ain't nobody trying to deal with that for real. They're not trying to deal yeah, with it. They definitely are getting stolen, bro. So yeah, when you got sure. when you got eight, nine, ten, eleven dogs and seven of them act like that and three of them bluffing, who how you gonna know which one? Which one? <laughs> you which one? Went, right. You're not gonna try to you steal none of them. Pack of dogs. You gotta have a pack of fringes jumping you. Exactly. You're not gonna try to steal none of them. Kelly, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna tap you back in. Let the people know your your kennel name and and where you representing for and where you representing from till you die, my brother. I got somebody in the line. Oh, I'm about to jump out. I got. I'm playing with my boys. I just wanted to hop in and say what's hey, up, boutique hey, man. Nobody, what's nobody, up? What's up, bro? Nobody's gonna see your fences. Hey, hey, what's your what's your kennel name again, bro? I ain't really got no kennel name. I just deal with dogs. It's King Gilbo, my Instagram. What, what? Well, your Instagram, that's what I was meaning. Bro. Yeah, I got a kennel page, but it's only Frenchy stuff on there. But yeah, my personal is King Gilbo. King Gilbo? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Yeah, hey, 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 check my uh check my presser page out, bro. I do uh I do IPO, I do shits and I do uh protection oh, yeah. training, all that. We need a link. Yeah, we're gonna link in person, yeah, so for sure. No, that's good. You all see right. boutique always connecting the dots. Hey, man, that's what's up. Everybody, please, please pay attention to Boutique and always jump in the lab and speak, comment, like, share, do all that good shit. He gonna put you on game. Push, appreciate I'm out. It, man. Much love, fam. <laughs> Blessings. You need to get yourself one of these, bro. 
Nobody's going to steal your Francis when they see this. <laughs> What's that? A hairless? What is that? Yeah. Oh, I seen you show that what before that, on the live. Yeah, there's no way What's going on, gentlemen? Is. What's going on, Ruben? How you doing, fam? I'm a little sleep deprived, man. I'm a little sleep deprived. Wealth you know, life, wealth life, wealth life. You know, yeah. You know what? I, 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 um, I, I took it for granted. You know, I, I've I worked in the veterinary sector for uh, I'm almost 36 years, and um, when we did whelping in clinic, you know, we have uh, stations that we rotate, right? So. I would probably be doing the nursery station for two hours and I'd get called out to do surgery. And then I did at nighttime, I would do emergency. So I would get to go home. Like, you know, it, it, you, I never worked eight hour shifts or usually like 10, 12 hour shifts, but I got to go home. And then when I started mm -hmm. doing whelpings with the Frenchies, you know, uh, you don't get to go anywhere, man. 24 seven, you're stuck, yeah. you know, you're stuck. stuck. And then I, I, I did it about eight years ago. I was offering for the general public. I did a lot of work for um, uh, West Coast French Bulldogs. A lot of those dogs that came over from Russia, the Blue Moon Lines, Danny Shane, all those dogs. You know, I got to uh, whelp quite a few of those dogs. And, um, you know, and I'm, I'm not um, – I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful because, um, you know, financially, um, and not that I was in a bad spot, but it, it helped a lot. It really did. It really did. You know, I put some of that money to work. And, you know, and I mean, my program's always been my program, you know, but, um, and then from there, you know, like I was already just consulting at clinics back then. So it gave me more stability to stay home. So six o'clock, I was doing my feedings about, you know, four, one time I did five litters at once by myself and uh, I'll never do that again. No, that's, that's <laughs> like a uh, kamikaze style right there. You know, and I, you know, this is, I already eight, know. eight, nine years ago. And you know, I thought I was Superman and this and that. And then unfortunately with that litter, uh, I, got, I got hit hard. I got the, the inverted nipples. I got the mastitis. Hey, I come back that. later and show us and give us detail on that ugly ass dog you got there. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I love, love, love. I, I, I got hit everywhere with that with that litter. You know, there's one particular female. Her name was Talia, and we bred her to Rick Pez's, the first Isabella that got here to the States. Um, Talia was, um, um, sorry, I was bred to Hershey. And her, she was, uh, you know, Rick Pez brought the first Isabella here from uh, Germany, from the Bondar lines. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was a pretty special breeding, you know. So, of course, you know, the, these high-profile guys, are they're, they're spending quite a few, they're spending thousands upon thousands of dollars, right? So, I, I'm already kind of on edge, you know. But that female hit me with the inverted nipples, hit me with the mastitis. Uh, I mean, you know, hit me. I mean, I, I was just getting hit left and right. But thankfully, you know, I, I had the tools and the knowledge, you know, because I had, I had uh, seen this in, in, uh, in clinic and I, but I wasn't, you know, like you, you'll, you'll get something every once in a, in a while. Right. But when one bitch hits you with three things, boom, one after another, that could potentially wipe out that litter or even her own well being. you know, what happens if you don't treat mastitis, those glands, they rupture and if yeah, they rupture, yeah. you know, they get right, sick. right, right. And it's, Man. Like, you know, so it, I mean, and, and then you want to do the antibiotics, but if hey. you do the antibiotics, it causes, cause, it, it crosses the, the, the placenta barrier, I'm sorry, the, the, the barriers and memory glands. Now the puppy's got antibiotics in their system. Now they start dehydrating. Now their natural flora starts to de decline. And now you're taking Paxil volumes to see game, how much you Get it's your just, pen and pads. This game, just, free game. It just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And, and uh, so um, after that, <laughs> After that, I was like, "Shit, I'm I'm done, man." I, I you know, I, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. Now, one thing I could say is, if you really love dogs and you are observant person, that mastitis shit, you could beat it when you notice the nipples you catch, getting too you catch hard. Early. You get that hot rag and you start milking that bitch like a cowboy. You start shaking, shit, man. It you starts squirting milk. across the room and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, but yeah, man, you, you get it. Have a, a microscope. Where you can go and do the smear and, and, and dip them and you know the the, the the different lighting to see if it's grandpa or grandma. Forget all that. Just grab the milk, put it in between these two fingers. And if it's not separating like water, you know, it's just like how you put a drop of water. If it's yeah. kind of doing that little kind of stringy where it's sticking, you, it, she's she's in trouble. And like yeah. you said, you know, you put the, the cabbage wraps, the cabbage yeah. wraps, and you start doing the, you know, um, I, I like working the clavamox to clavinate on them. If it's really extensive, right? If it's really extensive, and clavbox clavinate is it, since the clavinate's in there, it helps with that with that acid base. So if it does cross the the barrier, it do, it, it affects the pups, you know, but not to an extreme where if you're using like like a like a genomycin or, or a third generation type of uh, antibiotic, 
you, know, you. you, you definitely you want to stay away from Batril. You know, anything underneath seven, be, below seven months, you don't want to touch Batril. And it's it's a quinolone. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a, and you want to stay away from it, you know, not for, not only because of the, how potent it is, but it will deteriorate their little, um, uh, appendages right in between their femurs and, and their, um, um, and their scapulas and anywhere there's a connection, you know, it starts to deteriorate the cartilage right there. And next thing you know, you get these puppies that were perfectly fine. And then also with their, with their, um, with their calcium levels, it'll deteriorate their teeth. And like, you know, their dogs are about a, a year old and they start cow hawking. They're cow hawking and the elbows are just like, what's going on here? Well, it just basically all the articulating cartilage, you know, it just, just, it runs rampant. Um, so anything under seven months, uh, now, seven months before eviction, you go any further, explain yeah, the too. cow hawking before, you know, because there's a lot of people who, you know, these terms, they'll just listen to them, but they won't right. know. Like a lot of people ask, oh, what is rope? What is this? What is that? What is Roach back? I what hate is... Cal Hawking too, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, huh. yeah, both of y'all, if y'all could explain to the people, it, it, you it's know. A very, it's a very loose term. You know, it's not even like, you know, but like, you know, when I was judging, when I was judging back in the day, that's something where, you know, there's certain breeds that, re that call for a certain stride. You know, there's some dogs that actually, you shouldn't even be running in the ring. They gotta have a good gate. Classic example. They gotta have a good English, gate. English yeah. Bulldog. I see people that run in there. And I rarely see this in the AKC, you know, rarely, but more like in the, uh, you know, they'll, they'll come in. The fun uh, shows, you there see There you it. go. They'll start yeah. running. They start running the English. I say, no, 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 no. You just messed up its gait because the, the, the bulldog has more of an exaggerated move. And in Spanish, they call it campanea, which is, means like, like, like a bell motion in the rear. And it's, it's kind of teeter-tottering back and forth. And the gait is more prevalent, you know, where it's not such a pronounced come and go. But it, it, it's, you want to see it tracking where it's in line with the rear. You know, you'll see some judges get low to the ground and look at that observation. But when you're, and then most, you know, a French English bulldog goes on a ramp and it's judged. So you can see the juxtaposition of the dog, you know. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. with all that's going on these days. Um, so cow know, hawking is different for Frenchies and, and uh, than other dogs? Cow because hawking, I, okay, I so know cow that hawking, you'll see the when rear. cow hawking, when like the ankles are touching in the in the rear end. The, like and, right between the You know, when their leg, when that turned out right between the femur and and and, and the uh right at the, at the phalanges and the femur you'll notice the inversion where they're kind of almost like knocking like knee knocking it's almost like yeah yeah not yeah knee. they touch it yeah yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're going in and that's another in, term in the it's... back in the rear end though and it, it well it, it really depends it can come from it, i mean it can start all the way from the sacrum if the sacrum's not properly you know a dog has intravertebral disc disease yeah like that back that just dents down and come back up in the you know you got you you get exactly, I see a, you got I see this. a lot of that in shepherds. Yeah. Like shepherds, you know. I see a lot of that in shepherds. Shepherds are are, are poor. Oh, I hate shepherds it. Shepherds taking such a hard hit. I, I don't even I mean I know a couple of people Jonathan D Hopper actually down in uh, in Texas who actually hey. just got a, got out of the shepherds completely because they've just been so it's a hard breed. It's a really hard breed. It's a working breed, you know, and you if you get lucky, you know, you'll get one. Yeah. I used to, I used to do uh, um rescue for North American shepherd rescues it and they would tear up my yard but they just need a job you know they're so inquisitive and if yeah, you want just need, yeah you think that energy bad, stay away from the belgians please it's like it's like a, a german the shepherd on steroids, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dutch yeah. Shepherd, I, I yes sir the dutch shepherd the, the belgians the boosterons but it's about sorry Batril. uh it's a little bit off subject but i have a question about Batril. I heard from a vet tech that it's really good in some breeding programs to get your female on it as soon as she starts heat. Okay, for that's, six a, great, days and that, then get that's off. a great question. But you see the difference? The female is in heat. So depending what stage of the heat, is it metesters, diesters, proesters, or, or what, what stage of the heat? In it? If the fetus is already in development, and I, I know where you're going with this, um, you know, if you're already in the, in, the, in the fetal development, stay away from it. You know, you're better off. And depending on what the female is presenting, there's some antibiotics that are that are um, um, broad spectrums, you know, some gram positives, some gram negatives, and and some of them, some of them, not all of them, are more uh, um, inclined to having like like a, a third That's generation deep. in them where they would help more towards like say a respiratory problem. Why would I use this? Would I use cephalexin? On a dog that's got a respiratory problem, it'll help, but I'd rather use cephalexin for skin issues, urinary tract infections, and and uh, just localized type of infections. You know, if I got something more like going on mm -hmm. in the lungs, you know, then I know that I'm dealing with a much more aggressive, like a like a pseudomonas. 
And then I would use something like maybe a genomycin. And if the dog's older, yeah, Batril's great, man. Batril's a great antibiotic. I mean, when it first came out, it was like the Barbie of the antibiotics. We use it on everything, man. And there, there's certain percentages from, uh, you know, but anyway, I'm, I'm going way off track here. To answer your question, I see a lot of breeders that'll do that, that'll, that'll start giving their dogs antibiotics to prevent any potential pyometras or any type of potential, you know, uh, you know cross-contamination for the male. So as, as long as the female... And, and you're not in an early stage, in an early stage of fetal development, you're okay because the half-life of, of a Batril, um is about, I believe, don't quote me on this, either 12%, uh, 12 hours or 18 hours. It's one of those two. So the mm -hmm. half-life of it, meaning that it's, that's, it's effective, and that's when it's mostly effective. So if your dog is in a, a, de a fetal um, development and say, like, you know, they, they got to go through mitosis, meiosis stage, you know, uh, the, the quadruple, and, and everything's got to be, you know, there's so many things that are happening. So by that time, the, the antibiotic has already done its job, then you don't really have anything to worry about. But if, let's say, a female is already in her – you know, like uh, in 45 days, uh, I'd be a little, I'd be a little uh, hesitant. You know, I know there's other options up there. Uh, there's a, a lot of great options right now that, you know, I'm not saying they're going to substitute. There's always going to be a room for Batril, uh, but um, there's definitely options. Real quick, this live is going on YouTube. So if you click the link in my description, you can watch it on YouTube. A lot of people saying save the live. You could go watch it in the living room on your TV. And nine times out of ten, when you watch lives like this in a in a living space on your TV, you tend to, you know, intellect things and receive things to your brain better than just looking at the phone. So once again, click the link in my um on my page and tune in. This is the infamous Ruben giving y'all knowledge today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. get your notepads so, uh, out and listen. So would you ever do it just as a preventive? Like the first day that you see blood, do it for five or six days and then get off of it. And then, you know, you still got about six, six to, you know, 14 days. Well, yeah, about six to 12 days. And, and then that's when you would do your AI. 100%. 100%, you know, okay. um, I, I would go something with more like a, like a maybe depending on the size and the weight of the dog, you know, um, you know, something like more a little bit more on the conservative side. Uh, I, I, I'd probably stick with something like a cephalexin, you know, okay. um, I use because now you, what, you, what people forget Family is the more you use a particular like people always resort to the big guns, you know, they go and, and you know, and it, we're still not going into the third ge generation cephalosporin type of antibiotics. Those are like the kinds that we use when a dog is like, this is it. This is, you know, because what happens is sometimes that bacteria, a lot of people like don't stay, um, you know, on the regimen. They'll give it like one day, forget to give it the next day. Well, what's happening if there is a bacteria that is alive in there, that bacteria is actually building defense to that type of antibiotic, you know, and that happens very commonly. You see that a lot happening mm -hmm. with pneumonia, aspiration pneumonia. It's not responding to the clavamox. Oh, crap. Okay, well, what do you mean it's not happening? Well, I gave it, you know, this time, but then I forgot the next day. Well, yeah, those pseudomonas have now developed their own little defense against that particular antibiotic, and now we have to move to something a little more aggressive. And a little bit, but the, here's the thing, like, imagine if we start at the very, 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 very top of the most aggressive, the aggressive antibiotics that we have, you know, and we started with that, and then the person or whomever, it's usually human error, you'll forget to give it. And then boom, now that that, that particular type of uh, bacteria has built uh, resistance to that antibiotic because of human error, you're done. You're done. You're like, okay, there's nothing stronger than the strongest that we're already using. So that's why in, in general practice, you know, uh, we started with the penicillins, you know, they derive from mushrooms and such and such. We start with that, but obviously we've got some more uh, I mean, this day, uh, there's a great, great antibiotic that I'm a big, big fan of. I still haven't, you know, gotten into my little cabinet. It's called Convivia. And this this particular, it's, it's, it's in an injectable form. And what I love about it, it's a one single dose injection. So, like, for people that forget to do the, the, the um, you know, that have, uh, you know, particular uh, ear infections and such or oral infections, and you have to be giving those constantly you know you have to constantly be giving them and you forget it's a one shot the half life of this is 14 days 14 days so and, and it just saves the stress now it's 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 i wouldn't say it's super new you know it's been i think i talked to dr vega we had a convention about a year ago and i used it on one of my females you know and i, I was impressed man i was so impressed and um that's something that like i said you know things 
with with and even myself i have to constantly like every if i miss a one because i constantly try to renew my license so if i miss one particular um session i said there's like stuff that is coming out new and that's where i miss being in the clinic because i don't get to use that stuff especially like in research when i was working at stanford I had access to so much of the stuff that was being, you know, experimentally. I worked for Roche Pharmaceuticals also. And, you know, that the new stuff that's coming out, it's like, holy cow, man. It, it, it's rocking. It's rocking your world, man, left and right. So I hope that I, I mean, I hopefully I didn't go too much. No, what I wanted to tell people, too, is listen to what he's saying. Like a lot of, because a lot of y'all be on live telling people to take this and do that and that. And y'all not licensed. This man is yeah. licensed, so he could tell us <laughs> what to do. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, hey no, I, I, right. I, I got to see that too, you know, because I was a uh, mentor one of uh, one of my buddies, and uh, his girl didn't take a couple times, and they found out that she okay, had that's what's up, family. So I was trying to tell him like, hey, you know, I've heard this, but you need to go check with your vet. And the vet I went like, through no. that. I'm going through that now too. Yeah, and the vet's yeah. like, no, they want to get Batril, so he had to go to a reproductive vet, and then they gave him Batril. You know, yes, to, yeah. to clear it up. Not uncommon. Not uncommon. Now, now, was there? I just that? got some Batril today too. To be honest, I just oh. got some today. That's crazy. That and, and, and just and also be aware that Batril comes in certain percentages. You know, it comes in point two five. Uh, five percent, ten percent. Some of them is uh, I know, like a lot of people that get it from Mexico will uh, resort to the ten percent, and the ten percent is more. Uh, and they also uh, look at the milligrams per kilogram and do your conversion properly, you know, because some of this stuff is intended for livestock, and you know, a, a bull, uh, you know, fifteen hundred, a fifteen pound, fifteen hundred pound bull does not pound, weigh the same as a twenty five yeah. pound Frenchie, you know. So I've seen people overdosing their dogs. And inadvertently getting some 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 really bad reactions, you know, even some anaphylactic reactions, which is very uncommon with antibiotics. But what happens when you? And then the other thing is you are depleting their their flora, their natural flora, their intestinal flora. It's just being depleted because antibiotics doesn't selectively go after the good bacteria; it goes after the bad bacteria and the good bacteria. So you know, just, just something to keep in mind. You know, it's just yeah. I know, and, and I get it. You know, I get it. Sometimes, I like especially here in California. It's extremely hard to get, uh, um, you know, certain medications. So, um, you know, people go out of either Canada. Canada is not bad because they're also the instructions. They use most of the apothecary system, which is they don't. The conversions are usually pound, uh, milligrams per pound. But when you start getting into other parts like Russia, Mexico, uh, Thailand, even most of those drugs are coming in the format of, of a kilogram. So you have to go and, and make the conversions and like people will say, you know, like use this amount or, or the doses in, in a 500 milligram versus a 200, 250 milligram and you give it the 500 milligram dosage, uh, you're doubling up on that dose. Mm. Sorry, guys. This, this, yeah. uh, come here, mama. Go take care of puppies. Come on. Hey, I wanted to ask, is it pertinent to really have a, a, a um, incubator for the for the Frenchies? Man, that's Because, great, you know, I'm new to this. Great question, man. It's a great question. It's a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword, and I'll tell you why. Um, uh, incubator, you know, they, they, you know, a dog, you know, we all know that, you know, it's, they, it's called a POTZ, and that's it stands for Preferred Optimal Thermoregulating Zone, and that's mostly used for uh, reptiles. You know, they can't produce their own heat. Little puppies like this, these are mammals. Yeah. Now, the, the thing about these little puppies when they're born, they cannot generate their own heat. You know, it takes them about ten. I mean, I'm getting heats at about 10 to 12 days, you know, and it fluctuates. There's not 100% one rule works for everything, you know. So with that being said, um, you'll notice that puppies, the normal temperature for a dog is 99.5 to 102.5. That's where we're at. You know, that's that's kind of like, like you know, the, the little baseline. So what happens with puppies, they're born and they're usually, they're, they're holding their temperatures at about 95, 94. You know, start going down to 93, now, now you're getting into trouble. You know, so if you put them in an incubator, most of the time an incubator will be regulating at about 75 to 80 degrees. And um, myself, myself personally, what I do is I got a little lamp and I got a little, a little temperature gauge. Can you read that? Yeah. yeah. Let me turn off the comments real quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's 80, like 80 degrees. Right? Yeah. yeah, I got it at 80 degrees. I got, I got this little lamp right here. It's not the one with the red light where it doesn't. And I got a little heating blanket, but I also have this section where they can move around. If it's cold, do I have an incubator? Absolutely. I do have an incubator and I only use my incubators when, uh, when, I, got, right? when I got sicklings, you know, when I got sickly puppies, 
Um, yeah. I, 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 I can't, man. Um, my, my buddy Jose right now from Rio's French is borrowing my incubator. I think I'm going to sell it to him. Um, <laughs> no, no. It's always a good idea to have it. But I've also seen the tail end of it where, uh, you know, where the little sensor on the incubator, it goes up to 80 degrees and then the light will turn off. Or if you've got the general, uh, like the brooder, the pet brooder it has a, uh, another sensor. And I've seen those sensors uh, go out and I've seen people, not on purpose, but I've seen people cook their dogs. And it's, uh, it's, it's a really, 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 really sad way to go. I've seen people put the mother in with the puppies in the incubator and they cook the female. And it's, uh, it, it's so it, it, a common sense goes a long way. Common sense goes a very long way. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there, there isn't a lot of commons. Like, um, like I said, I, it ain't too common though. Exactly. Common <laughs> sense isn't very common. And I, and I've been, like I said, I've been, I've been whelping for, for man, both in and out of the clinic. Um, Frenchies, obviously, I, I would say English Bulldogs are even more tricky than Frenchies, but Frenchie is right behind them. They're definitely right behind them. Um, so the, the, the incubator, I, I would say as a, a backup plan, or, or if you don't have, um, oh my goodness, this guy's taking a poop right in front of me. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going back and forth cleaning and talking to you guys. So, so um, you know, you, you want to use it um, as, as it's a distress, you know? Is it absolutely 100% necessary? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You know, I whelped a national, a national champion, you know, just with a little lamp. <laughs> so, yeah, then, um, then well, another right, right. thing you could be doing too with the whole incubator stuff is like, like he said, it's, that's made for reptiles. So now it's like you turning your dog into a reptile. And then when, it, when it's time to come out and to breed CO2, you already trained the lung with the incubator or oxygen. So when I want to come into the real world, the real atmosphere, it's like, I can't breathe. I don't got no lung muscles. What's going on? You feel me? And then you like, oh, now it's another catastrophe that that whole time you could have been building up the, the, the animal to be, you know, wealthy. The lung capacity. Yeah. Yeah, no, you bring, but I'll you say bring, this. You okay. bring up say a, a really good point. I, I have I have a small one, a really small cheap incubator, and I only use it at the pup that's struggling. If I got to put oxygen in there with it, I got to do something like that and tend to yeah, the other ones. Yeah. If I have potentially one for preemies lot, or you know, at, you know you whatever, yeah. There you but, go. But it's only for me to feed, and then I take that dog out and you know try to keep it you know outside of the incubator. But I, I will say, like for me, I feel like it has saved a, a couple pups. The incubator has for me. No, it, mm -hmm. it, def it definitely has its place, you know, and even what you were saying with like the oxygen and the condenser and stuff like that, there's been times where like, you know, I will make a makeshift incubator, like with just some Tupperware, some plastic Tupperwares. And uh, I use it more as a uh, humidifier, you know, with puppies that have like aspiration pneumonia or, or puppies that are having a hard time struggling, you know, I'll put the, you know, I'll, I'll just, you know, seal one side off and make there's a CO2 monitor in there to make sure they're not, you know, um, over overly lapping on their CO2 levels. And then uh, Diamond, what it do, know. Diamond? No, go ahead, go ahead. We listen. I, I but just no, got to multitask. I, I say, shot you know, people um, you out know, too. If, if, I, I I don't you know, like this 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 litter right here has yet to touch a, um you know um um an incubator and uh, the last time I had a, a situation with an incubator was a um um, uh, um actually as a matter of fact that was two years ago two years ago I had a situation um. You know, I, I used an incubator and it was just like, it, you know, insurance, you know, just insurance. And, um, you know, thank goodness, you know, we actually use some off uh, off label medication. That, uh, saved these puppies and uh, it all went well. You know, did I lose you guys? <laughs> no, you good. It's my boy Airborne. He, he's spinning over there. He's like stuck right now. So we're going to rotate him real quick with somebody in there. Oh, you about to lose us, Ruben. So. So I want to ask another question, right? I know I'm jumping all everywhere about these uh, questions, but so with my presses, right, for the milk replacement, what do y'all use? Because what I do is I'll go and get uh, the canned goat milk. I'll get distilled water and a, a egg yolk, and I don't use the whites, you know, and then I'll get some Greek kibbutz Greek yogurt. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I use that for their for their milk replacement. Is that 
is that something that you guys use for milk replacers for the Frenchies when, you know, when they need it? There you go. Yeah, um, damn. I, I was trying to frigging add everybody in, so I was listening to you. You okay. were talking I, I, about. I would say fresh, fresh goat milk would be the mm, best. Mm, milk replacement. Okay, they got they got different different stuff. Like you, you know, the Espelac, the the puppy back. You got you know all different. So now what you were so saying sounds like a more organic way of doing you know milk replacement. You know what I'm saying? And you know. I couldn't tell you if that worked for Frenchies. Um, Jessica, do you you heard what he said? Um, yes, I okay. don't use uh, goat milk. I actually use puppy formula formula that has colostrum in it. That's what I prefer. As mm -hmm. they go, like the puppy older, back, right? I think that's that's I what don't that use colostrum. Esplac. I'll Not, use like um, puppy, puppy back. back or yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, is, that that has um, colostrum in it. So yeah. there's some at like Petco is one that it's easy. Yeah, to I've get seen a lot of that. But it, it should say colostrum mm -hmm. on the front. It's kind of like they're advertising. Um, and mm -hmm. then, but shouldn't that only be the, shouldn't the colostrum only be used for like the first week or so? Yeah, dog. Like say if the mother's not on, able to produce the milk, doggies on puppies support. Amount of it, so it's just a little. Diamond, I'm gonna get you in here. It. It's not pure colostrum. Go ahead, get me on. Okay. okay. All right, I'm gonna yeah. So I use, oh, yeah, yeah. So I use oh, that particular. Um, sometimes I do make at home. So I make at home with. I actually use egg and a whole bunch of stuff in it i can give you the rest diamond of yeah, what yeah. It does. going on going on the powder and it's that's okay. what i do too I, good to uh, see you man shout out aloha aloha, aloha. <laughs> the only time that i'm using any of that is if mom doesn't have um if mom has absolutely but what if the mom not producing enough either you know what I mean? You got eight puppies and maybe the mom not producing enough milk. You know, you want to help out as well. They do have um, medication that the vet may give you if they notice that when you do do the C-section. It's called methylchlorpromide. Mm -hmm. That's one Met that they'll give you. Oh, okay. Um, another thing that's kind of, you know, natural sort of, you can give the, and it's worked for me, and I know a lot of breeders, I learned it from a lady that's been breeding for like about 30 years, I give um, oatmeal cream pie from Little Debbie, them things make that milk come in, it's crazy. Really? Yeah, I heard about yeah. that too. And then you have to keep in mind, okay. you're doing a C-section, so there might be a few days in the beginning where... The mom's not producing, and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, you have this cholesterol, and then the cholesterol quickly goes to cholesterol, yeah. and it's a whole bunch. Um, like they said in the comments, fenugreek is another one. They said fenugreek. Fenugreek, yes. They said, yeah. they said I fenugreek, fenugreek in the comments. Too. It's fenugreek, well, guys, fenugreek. not fenugreek. Fenugreek, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you guys yeah, my syrup? dog breath smells like, like syrup. It does. Give it to the Oh, yeah, let me tell y'all a little hack for spinning down blood. If you don't have a centrifuge, you can tape the blood on the valve to your ceiling fan and crank that motherfucker on high, and that shit gonna do the same thing, all right? <laughs> Life could. hacks. You could, or just put it on the string and spin it like this, right? So yeah. Do, put it yep. on a dental floss and spin it. Yeah, having blood there you go. splatter all over the place, but you could do it. I mean, if you got a yeah. MacGyver, everything you got a MacGyver. Yeah, just right, tape right. it, tape the blubber, tape it to the ceiling fan, put that shit on three, and let now, it be. Um, <laughs> back to what you had said earlier, I give colostrum to my females, so I don't see why you can't, you know, give the colostrum mm. to the pups. It's I know you were saying because it was in the the formula, but you can definitely give it to them, and that's not affecting. That's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm a fan of puppy box. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, of puppy, puppy box. box. I don't yeah, like that's, the that's the one. Yeah. I don't yeah, like yeah. That. Where can you get the puppy back from? Is that you can get that from Petco? Nature's, Nature's um, Pharmacy. Amazon, Amazon too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But let me tell you something. I will not. I refuse to use Espelac. No offense to anybody that uses it, but Puppy Back is. I I love that. Is it? Yeah, I just yeah. bought why, some why last night. Why do you refuse night. to use that? Espelac just lacks a lot of nutrients. It's just a very. You hear the name? Nutrient. Hints. Espelac. Lacking. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I noticed with Espelac, the poop is not as consistent. They're a lot. Watery. They get a lot of gas. Yeah. Very, mm -hmm. A lot of gas, they upset the stomach, stuff like that. So you want to, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm hands on. I use Puppy Buck. I've been using that for years. I do supplement. I'll go ahead at least supplement one meal for the puppies at least once a day. And I've noticed when I do that, puppies turn out larger. They're healthier, much more lively. But don't forget to burp your puppies. A lot of people forget to burp their puppies right after they go ahead and bottle feed. So that's really mm -hmm. important. Yep. Make sure yep, yep. You, you burp right, your right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. I pre look. I got a round of applause. And it's true. Sometimes you hear the pups. Sometimes for you hear my the guy. whining, and it's something as simple as you know burping them. So real burping quick, them. round of yep. applause for you know my guy Ruben for coming in, setting the tone on the on the informational intellectual oh vibes. So you know what I'm saying? Like my it. guy right. definitely know his Ruben's shit, the and the reason why it's like an extra perk is because he. He, he's he's authorized to tell us what to use. You know what I'm saying? He got his shit, his paperwork and all but that. But he's not so, a vet. Don't get yeah. him in trouble. He's not a vet. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a you know. level vet tech. Don't get him yeah. in trouble. Exactly. So, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, you know, people who be, you know, we sometimes we got to watch what we say. I, I done seen right. lives where, oh my God, yo, right. motherfuckers telling people cut the dog head open, squeeze it out, do this, that. I'm like, whoa. Right. Y'all don't get in trouble. Chill out. Even when, I'm talking, <laughs> even when I'm talking, like, when I speak about whelping or anything, I'm like, hi, disclaimer, this is what's worked for me over the past 10 years. Right. You know, this is what I've been doing. Absolutely. You know, I used to work at a vet. You know, that was one thing I did before I did nursing. And she is. Mm -hmm. I still yeah. don't claim I know everything because you learn everything every day. No, yeah. learning every day, everything. every day, every day. And not and every day you um refresh things that you might know in your subconscious that you just might not remember in an instance of panic. So like you yeah. you refresh yourself. It's like muscle memory. You you get it on top oh, of your yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Boutique, so really quick, boutique. What's yeah. up? Hey, that's my friend right there. Shout out to the family, Frenchies. You know what I'm saying? That's Jessica Twin right there. Look, she looked just <laughs> like her, right? Man, now nah, that's what's up. She Good to see you again. She's like, can I say hi? Oh, nah, that's my girl. That's my friend right there. She's good people. I love her energy. She got that loving spirit, just like myself, you know? First time I met this little girl, she was rubbing my stomach. I'm like, oh, man, you cool as hell, you know? To the gym. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> so, yeah. so, Boutique, how oh, that Let's see if we can get you some urgent care right quick before they close. Yeah. Say that again. How's that puppy doing that I saw you with on Atwater? He's doing good. Um, I just bought him to the vet yesterday. He's getting over, like, you know, little sickness he had worms so little parasites and shit so i'm working on him get like because that first day like at um what's his name crib at um max crib woke up in the morning seeing a little passing blood so i'm thinking all right maybe new environment he nervous and then like for a month straight i've been like on him on him i'm like what the fuck is going on i'm testing him for everything no coccidia, no diarja, no none of that. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, boom, Jessica hit, told me go to a vet because I went to VCA. You know, VCA, oh, no, they kind of off. My brother, what's he? Oh, can you mute your thing real quick? Because I'm hearing everything in your Oh, yeah, my fault. Yeah. So we went to VCA. It was it was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? They, they, I went to them, giving them test results, and then they like, all right, well, metronide is all, and you'll be all right or whatever. And I'm like, man, compared to where Jessica sent me, like, now I feel like my dog really sick. They sent me home with, like, four or five different shit. They gave me the Pepto-Bismol for the dog, something for the so blood. what was wrong? What was wrong? Um, 
he had worms. Um, I think um, oh, hookworm. Like it was hookworm. That's the first thing that he, you're supposed to te test for. The vet didn't test. That's the first. No, thing. I, I, I test. That's what I, I said. Like he went to a VPA and thing. he had hookworms. They no, 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 no. First, I right, first I went to more vet and did the test for him. Okay. Right? They let me know no giardia, no um coccidia, no parvo. Um, and he came back as corona, coronavirus. That I'm like, what? Yeah, so, I was like, all right. So one that thing you would normally do, you deworm them automatically. Yeah, because we did that. At, they don't need, yeah, did that so the weird. first day I got him. Did it the that's first so day I got him. I gave him um, what you call it? What what's his name? Um, pan or no safeguard. We gave him his twelve week shot that day. And um, we get and, and Max gave him a dosage of the um, safeguard. Right, so right. you know, in the morning we wake up, I see the blood. I'm like, Yo, Max, you passed blood. Max, like, oh, I don't worry about it. You know, he slept in a garage with fucking press. Uh, what what? Uh, Kanye uh, corsos and right. fucking puppy borbles and all kind of bigger dogs than him. You know, some Frenchies was in there too, but. You know, but he's in his own tub or whatever. So, you know, he probably like it's if somebody say, "Yo, the dog probably scared and stressed out." You have no choice but to believe it because there's a, around like ten other dogs that's like you know way bigger than barking when they see me come in. So they see his owner coming in the garage and they like ah. So the dog, my dog, I already know. It's like what the hell's going on, you know? Right, right, so right. I took that for it. Boom, got home. But I'm just like, I can't get rid of this fucked up poop. You know what I'm saying? Can't get rid of the poop. And I'm like, for a whole month, I'm going crazy. I'm like, yo, nah, something ain't right. And then boom, I brought it, found out it had hookworms. So we dealing with that now. He doing good though. His shit solid again now. Probably, it, they was sucking the life treated. out of him like little vampire. Yeah. Huh? I think he probably got treated and then just didn't like he needed more, you know, a continuation and then yeah. the little baby larvae, you know, ended up getting right. Because normally yep. you supposed to you deworm every month. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You would Yo, man, month. what I mean, I was deworming because yeah, I knew I knew something consider, was up. Though, you have to consider you were giving him a lot of stuff. You were giving him uh, metronidazole, all of that, like like the guy was saying a little earlier. Remember that all that stuff affects good and bad bacteria. So now you're stripping him. You know? No, but that I was giving him uh, the floor, the floor, fl the floor, forty flora. Forty flora. Oh, I was flora? giving him that the whole time too, yeah. along with like origins so and a little can, bit in there too. So pin, I know he was, you know, it wasn't pin, like I was. Can you pin what Gina put? Cause that's nah. I read it because I got my sponsors okay. in there. But oh, that's right, the sponsors. A lot, a lot of times, if they have worms as babies and are worm with the right stuff, enough times to break the cycle, they battle worms for a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so they go. They yeah. remember it's a huge. It's a cycle. They start at one, you know, size, and then they start going around to like teen, preteen. Well, hookworms, them motherfuckers is adult side, and we got to get them exterminated. We got to get and them up they, out of there. You know, you know, sometimes they eat their own poop, and that that yes, makes yes. Really so really so really now infected. today, what I did was because last night, yo. I woke up 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the morning, walked him, he shit. But now, I'm stuck up now. I'm on live, watching a live for like two hours, then fall asleep, like maybe minutes to six. And then I wake up like 8.39, boom, he eats his shit. I said, fuck, God help me. Like, I slept downstairs on the couch just to be a surveillance to him, you know? And boom, they, he caught me. Yeah, so I just ordered the cage, you know, the cage with the little grids that is shit and go down to the bottom at the Careful stackable. With that though, though, because you yeah. the feet. You yeah, I know, but I'd rather you know, do that for a little them. bit and then get him right, you know, after them worms gone. You get what I'm saying? Then I'll get him on a flat, good surface and like right. build that back. It's just levels to this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. right. <laughs> shit, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then you gotta bathe them on a regular just so that 
and yeah. it gets into their, their fur and you got to make sure they don't they don't lick their yeah. fur and then they reinfect themselves and stuff like yeah. that. No, and then they yeah. step so, on it and then they're licking yeah, their I hate paw puppies. Pads. Let me yeah. get dogs. <laughs> Yo, bro. I so I got some work for this to it. But the good news is, off of the first day of battling the shit, like giving him all the vaccine, everything that what he got, what they gave me at the doctor, at the vet, um, his poop is 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 solid now. No no more blood. No, you know, so I know I'm on the right track. Although he did eat the poop. I know, like, all right, well, we got to hash that out, flush that out, because you still fucking congesting worms that you possibly pooping out. But the poop's solid now, and things is looking prevalent. So I'm happy about that part. Because the seeing the blood, and the, I'm like, oh, come the fuck on. You know? Usually but, yeah. blood is worms, but sometimes blood can be formed by overeating as well. You know? Yeah. So if you're overeating... Well, I know that ain't the part. He, yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, yeah, so, they chill. So. He ain't overeating nothing when they they <laughs> eating what he eating. <laughs> so, so yeah. that happens too when they overeat. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of people are always asking us, "What do I deworm my dog with?" But you're right about that. The overeating thing, you're right about that because right we had a. I just got Weefy Poppy. He didn't eat for like 30 hours on the train on the plane ride because you know mm -hmm. they they ain't feed him and boom they took the plane. So about. 30 hours he didn't really eat and then uh when he finally ate he you know he was eating so i did see right. a little smurge of blood but not like what i was seeing every day you know what i'm saying on mm -hmm. gina put something else in there right. she said yeah, everyone would just go to the vet the and have a fecal done for worms and get the proper you wormer from the vet too, a lot of it can well. be avoided yeah they gave so me panicure and i was right. using that shit already mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and, but they gave me metronidazole tablets, though, other than the fucking, the, 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 the injection, the, the liquid one. So mm -hmm. the, I guess that's better, but it's a headache getting him to, to, to ingest that. I got to, like, slap that bitch down to his, the back of his throat and then to close his mouth. And then he give me a, like, you know, he's in the water and dissolve a little bit. Then he <laughs> you didn't swallow like, you it. You didn't try liquefying your, your um, pills? You can no, it. let me know. Shit, we learn every oh, day, yeah. right? Let me go get my syringe so I can show y'all. Like, look at word. My I mean, let me show you how you guys can do it. But um, then I won't know the doses to give him because they broke it up in quarters for me to give him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to fuck up the dosage now when by doing that. But I still learn though, you know. And we all learn. Hold okay. on, hold on. I just came back from my breeding, so my kids. They were saying. As they were saying, you know, everybody always wants to hop on the live and ask us, hey, what do I deworm my dog with? And the one Yeah, see I you, kid. No, go ahead, we listen. Yeah, one of the people that, one of the things that I've just been starting to let people know is I could tell you all the different dewormers. I can tell you the dosage by weight, by kilo. I could tell you all of that. But what you first need to do is go do a fecal test and find out exactly what you're treating. Because people are just dosaging dogs and not finding out exactly what it is you're fighting against. And yeah, I did the fecal situation. test first weekend. No, that's, that's not your mm -hmm. particular situation. Because yeah. I see some, some comments that are like, hey, what do I give? What do I give? What do I give? Oh, you know, okay. At the end of the day, we're not trained and licensed. This is what works for us. Yes, I know it from um, research and trial and error and education and knowledge and all that great stuff. However... Please, mm -hmm. first thing you do is go, before you start deworming a dog with anything, go and find out what it is, if the dog has anything at all, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's that's number one, please, because I see a lot mm -hmm. of people asking, and if you do it for a prevention thing, there is prevention. There's monthly prevention for all of this. So talk to your vet, go and spend the money the first time, learn what the vet is, you know, telling you to do, do your research, and then move on from there. Don't take it from mm -hmm. just alive and, and go ahead and deworm your dog and maybe not give them enough to actually fight. Uh, or so give them too you got much. water in there? No, what you do, oh. you know how you mm -hmm. get a syringe, right? Just like this. You put yeah. your pills inside and you put a little mm -hmm. bit of water, right? You put yeah. a little bit of water that way and you let it sit for a little while. Then once it softens, you just do this motion where you put and it breaks down the pill just like that. Yeah, yeah. Got so you. you see how I put got the finger? And you put the mm -hmm. like this, and the water it up. and everything will 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 
loosen the pill and, and spread it out and then add a little bit of water and you should inject it into your puppy's mouth just like that and yeah. then that's it. Oh, so the you little tablets, it. okay, boom. The little yeah, tablets, I could just... Those little tablets the, the, will get you. They'll spit yeah. it out and you don't even know. You don't even you're know. No, I be on yeah. his ass, boy. I be yeah, on his ass. <laughs> dose and you're like, holy shit, what is this pill doing, you know, under the little blanket or something? So this is a, just a trick. Like I said, I'm going to repeat it again. So you're going to pull it out. You put the pill, right? Right? You do a little bit of water. Let it sit for a little bit. A pill in here. And then you do mm -hmm. this, just, just this motion just to break it down with the water, right? With mm -hmm. your finger. And then you can add a little bit more water. And then you should just inject into the puppy's mouth. Little by yeah. little, and then thank that's you, it. thank you. That was dope. Remember, that's dope. You see, we learn something yeah. new every it, day on Boutique side, Live. Like this, do it on the side, and you're going. Up yeah, and yeah, yeah, so, yep. I know that technique. Do, I got that down pat. Like this or, the puppy, you don't want that. You want to put the puppy's head back. Back on the side like that. Side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because and then you when can you also close the mouth and blow into the nose. So if you close the mouth and blow into the nose, they don't have Ooh, a choice. Oh, now I'm learning a little more yeah. icing on the uh, cake right there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Blow yeah. into the nose. You go down, you just blow into it and they'll swallow. So nah, that's love. So this live right here like going to go viral. This one going viral <laughs> for sure. This one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? Like when I put this on the YouTube page, they're going to keep rewinding it and watching it. It's going to be one of them ones. Right. There's a lot right. of vital information on this one. Sure. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, I like how you guys are talking about the puppy box. Um, I also order the the fade formula. Okay, don't do that liver boiling kind of stuff because you're gonna overdose your puppy. So a lot of people they like to take the, the beef liver and boil it. Don't do that. You know, spend the twelve dollars, go buy your fade formula and use that if you can't get syrup. You know, remember like we talked about, you can spend on the syrup and feed that to your puppies. Go, go spend the time. Thank you all for helping me out in the mm -hmm. comments as well. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Some of y'all, like the guy said, y'all got to do y'all. I read that long comment. I forgot his name. But, you know, I didn't want to cut y'all what y'all was giving out good info. But, you know, please, like, y'all buying these animals and not even know. Like, who's selling y'all these animals and not telling y'all, like, to deworm them? What's going on? But some people, they buy from people that haven't been mentored themselves. There's a lot of breeders out yeah. there that have not Yes, been yes, yes, yes. And, and, and that's the thing. Like, I know we all want to get into a lane and breed. And, like, I know, I right, for example, my first litter, I sold a dog to my uncle. Probably the most expensive dog I sold. You know what I'm saying? Because it was the only boy and it was a Merle. And he, he wanted it to breed to his girl. By the time he just... He took care of those two dogs, take care of them every day. I talk to him now. He like, man, nephew, I don't know. I might breed it once, but I don't know. I ain't, I ain't really trying to breed no dog. <laughs> like, And I'm like, good. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of y'all got to really like, 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 you're not, if you buy a dog, your thing is not, you're not forced to breed it to like make back the money that you bought it or whatever it be in your head. Like. Money. Yeah, like, I don't know what be in your head, but that's not why you buy the dog. The dog, yeah, it could, it's, it's, it's an investment. And it's also an investment. It, it doesn't have to be a currency return investment. It could be a, re a investment on sanity. You added the missing puzzle to your home. So that's the investment that you made. Your kids are happy now. Your lifestyle is a bit different. You have companionship, like she said. That's the investment that you're making, guys. Not all the time everything is a currency return that you invest on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's pleasantness. It's, it's peacefulness. It's tranquility. It's, it's another, you know what I'm saying? It's a vibe, y'all. It's, 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 it's therapeutic. Oh, we lost her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She need a little bit of. Hey, hey, thank you for having me on the live, bro. I appreciate you, man. Bless, man. It's all love every I'll be time. I'll you on the DM, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock in with my boy. Weepy puppy. <laughs> all right, my boy. Bless up. All right, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? This is the first live I've been on in in like a month. Yeah, they had your ass on probation. <laughs> yeah, you know what, you know, with me going to school and everything and me being so busy, like, I, I haven't gone on the lives in, like, forever. And then all of a sudden, everybody's like, where have you been? I'm like, I've been, I've been gone. I've been busy with school and work. Yeah, great okay. Life, great life. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome, man. 
Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's it's like we we but you know, shout out to my boy James and uh you know everybody who doing those you know these educational lives on YouTube. But we coming for you. We coming hard. We coming live and direct. You feel me? Shout out to everybody participating. And, you know, we got people. We got even people. This is why I, I chose to do a live podcast that's, that's educational like this. Because you don't even have to listen to what we're saying. If you're blind, you could just read the... I mean, not blind. If you're deaf, you can just read the comments. And the comments help you out, like, with certain things. Because you see the questions. And then we got people in here like Cash Drop and uh, Melissa uh, Melissa from I Got um, Five Kidlets. And they're answering people and helping them out, along with some other people's in here. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, th this is the greatness of, you know, this kind of live from this perspective. You know? So... Thank you all for participating. I couldn't do it without you. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, you know, I like, I like organic co content. I don't like coming in here. Okay. We're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about that today. Like sometimes it don't always play out organically. So the right. fact that we in here and we just spewing off certain things to each other on a spiritual note, you don't know who we could be helping right now. Right now, we could be helping somebody that's going through these exact problems because it wasn't planned. That's why I don't plan shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's, but let's keep it rolling. Number one person you should be asking is your breeder. That's the number yeah. one person before you become a, a Google person or a Google expert. Always ask your breeder first. That is your go-to yeah. person. Yeah. And if and if he if he don't if he can't answer and it's it's less than a year that you had that dog go get back your money man <laughs> you know what I'm saying go get back your money mm -hmm. um, don't just buy back, the dog invest in the program going so, back to, to, have to have, like, going back to what she was saying earlier I'm sorry I didn't catch your name your name Raquel Raquel hi Raquel so I do use the liver water but I use drops. I don't use a bunch. I do like pet tinnit. That's one that I use. And I do still have the fading puppy. But every once in a while, when I have like a really bad puppy, a really bad, like really, really bad puppy, I do use the liver water. But it's drops that I use. Not like, mm -hmm. hi, let me give you five cc's of liver right, water. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. People got to so, know, be careful because you can overdose your dog. And yeah. If you're, no, no, you no. Don't no know what yeah. the hell you're doing, be safe. Just with, you know, DJ, so, what it do? He yeah, said, no, I "Hot girl, summer in the building." Now, but again, I only use drops. I don't. I see you, my guy. I'm just scrolling through these comments right now. I'm probably behind. I'm trying to get What's to What's up, DJ? I put it on. I put it on. I put my Yo, Burners I, Union I, you know, in the I'm building, Chris. What it do? We had a nice live last night, Chris. I ain't gonna lie. That one, I wish I would have got that one on the channel. That one would have been like pure comedy you know what i'm saying last night we have fun and it was all like you know i know a lot of people learn what confirmation is you know what i'm saying like just little simple shit you know what i'm saying like <laughs> what uh specializing means and you know like it was it was dope it was like it was funny as fuck and it was it was fun like we had a nice live you know what i'm saying last night listen as well. the only thing the only thing about the only thing about last night was just the fact that it was like rah rah rah, and I was like, "Calm down, we can have a conversation." But no, no, that's a passionate rah, rah. person, though. You know, super <laughs> passionate. What did I miss on? What, what did I miss, miss on? No, uh, um, damn. Like Oh man, it was just crazy. Like we had a, a dude from New York who lives in Atlanta now, who um who, who bought his dogs from James from Love My Pups. That's when I first met him. Like he was explaining that to me. And, um, you know, I'm like, damn, that's dope. At least you're in the right direction. And he's very adamant about what he's doing and passionate, like we said. And, um, you know, last night was his first night meeting Chris. And, you know, Chris could talk like if you if he know you don't know who he is, he's going to talk to you that way for you to get <laughs> to know who he is, for you to at least ask, well, who the fuck are you? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. saying? <laughs> exactly. Exact vibe. Exact vibe. <laughs> Yeah, so it was definitely one of those moments where dude was looking like, well, who the fuck are you? And no, no, I had no. to be you like... You guys had to hear it. He was explaining to Chris what confirmation and genetics are. Yeah. <laughs> this is what he was Man, it, 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 it was... 
I mean, no, like, you know, and he was just ex like, because, you know, Chris was asking him, like, what are you, what do you, you know, what do you do? Well, what are, he said, well, I specialize in color code and genetics. So Chris <laughs> ain't like the fact that he said, you know, no, he said color code and genetic, well, color code confirmation and genetics. Yeah. So, you know, his choice of word was right. Like, he carried himself how any breeder that has confidence in what they're doing, supposed to, you know. But Chris wanted to dig deeper and find out if he really knows what he's talking about. And that, that was a, a short summary of the night. And then, you know, Chris started throwing in little jabs at him and just to spice up the live. He didn't mean anything like harsh for or nothing like that. But it, it was fun. It was dope. It was just that tasteful humor. And then all at the end, it was all kumbaya. Everybody's like, yo, my fault. You got a good camp. I, I appreciate what you're doing, homegirl. I'm going to give you a follow, you good people. Chris, <laughs> California Chrome, that's what's up. All right, tomorrow. You know, it was one of those things, you know? That's kind of like an no. initiative, right? We had like 100 people in there dying. Like, yo! <laughs> it was crazy, crazy. That was one of them natural moments, the organic, never panic moment. <laughs> yes, for yes. sure. That was like the yeah. definition, his definition, true definition of organic. Yes, because I always bring it up. I'm like, yo, these gloves be really organic. And the last night was one for the books, for sure. For sure. That was one. So, yeah. I, I hope, I, I, I hope, you, yeah, you missed yeah, it. I but I hope, um, Diamond, I hope you can catch another one. Chris gonna set it up one day. I already I know. To, I need to. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, we were Yo. giving Chris shit that he didn't come up to Atwater either. Then Chris, where you at? We missing you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I be joking on Chris. I be like, Yo, Chris, man, you acting like you deported yourself to Hawaii, bro. What the fuck is going on, bro? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you guys know? reading the comments about the oxymoron? Is that stuff all bad or what? No, no, no. We're letting we're letting Melissa and um Gina do their job in the comments. They're moderating the people in the comments while we have a, okay. a four way conference FaceTime right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no, I'm just asking. I switched from uh, bitch pills to to oxymom, and I wasn't sure if that was stupid. Yeah, yeah. reading these comments. I don't do that yeah. I didn't even know. But, huh? I have never seen Chris's face like that. It was priceless his, his fa facial expressions were there yeah yeah it was, it was. then then they was talking about confirmation and chris was talking about that's only in church and shit and they was like all right well you sure this guy don't mean congregation well so i got a request it was like bro the word is congregation not confirmation so that went left right there and then Chris had to fix it up. Like, you only get confirmation in church. <laughs> like, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good one. Uh oh, there you go. Another, another, another fluffy. Yeah, this is another a fur baby. Right here. This is his sister. Yeah, she the family dog now, I see. Yeah, yeah, she's a family dog. All the other dogs want to get her, but they don't They don't need to. Oh, that was your background with the, 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 the infant coughing every minute when Ruben was on here. Oh. I thought it was Ruben. I was about to say, bro, you whelping and you whelping kids too? I thought it was too? like a, one of them sound effects that you be doing. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> we only got, we got like, you know, the bomb drop. This one sounds close to it, you know what I'm saying? Is doing that on purpose? Huh? Can everyone hear me? No, I don't I can think hear so. You now. Oh. Okay, so what they were talking about in the comments in regards to the Oxy Mama is the Oxy Mama is high in vitamin A. So okay. sometimes, because it's too much, it's not for them. So basically, just you have to regulate that if that's what. Um, my, but again, your female, again, me, healthy and well taken care of, that stuff is, you're kind of breaking I think she's like breaking in and out, her connection's yeah, yeah, really yeah. bad. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, got a little bit of the last 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, her son, oh, oh shit. Oh, the uh, wheel of life. Oh, 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 Get him on his intro. Get him on his intro. Okay, there she goes. She back. Yeah. No, uh, I went to turn yeah. off the water. Is bitch pill just better? Should I just go back? Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's another person who Ruben was another person who helped me out on that with the prenatal vibes, just going to Walmart and getting regular prenatal gummies, like you know, mm -hmm. instead of doing all cut, that oxy shit. And just cut them a lot smaller, like in the force. Yeah, or you could get the gummies. They got gummy they, ones. They stuff. have a bunch of different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like most, like even a small lady is, you know, 80 pounds, and Frenchie's about 20, so just cut it into fourths and give it to him. Or depending, you know, just one fourth the serving. Sorry, it's pretty he's asking for the dose amount. That's the dose asking. amount. That's what he's asking, the dose amount. Yeah, because then it would kind of be like defeating the purpose what we talking about with the oxy right. mate, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. On which one? It, however, remember that you don't want it to have the xylitol, which yeah, if you give it the human gummies. What's up, yeah. Ernie? Oh, okay. So you don't want it to have. Yeah, that. you know, I'll, I'll, de I'll DM. And I'll DM you. DM I'll DM and and. I got, I got you. you. Yeah, 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 I got you. And you is what they should be having. And then you can go ahead and see which one you pick because some of them are different and have higher and lower of things. So I'll tell you the ranges and then you can go ahead and find one. Find one. Okay. They did in half. All right, perfect. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely get with you. Love, love, love. That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, real yeah, quick, yeah, let me read out the little yeah, real quick I'm, commercial I'm break, y'all. Um, let me, you know, let the people know what's going on with the sponsorships. We got all type of people, got puppies, got studs, got merch. You know what I'm saying? So give each and every one of these people a follow. Starting off with Lux, Lux Quality Frenchies, Cassie 0209, Best Friend Frenchies underscore MIA, Rainbow League Frenchies, NC Frenchie Family, Westbred Frenchies, Wilder Bulldog Kennel. Uh, doggy style and a cut from above back up. Now click the um the pin comment and just screenshot everything, everyone. And uh, also you want to follow Dogtown Frenchie Collection. That's our newest sponsor. You know, so he gonna be riding out with us for the week. And um like I said, each and every one of these people just uh hit the the pin comment, get them a follow. But like. Other than all of them for the merch and the doggy apparel and our uh, leashes, if anybody looking for leashes, collars, give doggy style a follow and use the code MIA10 and you'll get, I think, 10 to 20 percent off. So that's dope. All they shit is like luxury, good quality. You won't be mad that boutique sent you over there for sure. But just give everyone a follow and just ask them what, what you got to bring to the plate. And see what they got. They all good people in my book. So give them some support. Let's right. go. Right, right, right. Good yeah. job with the commercial yeah. input, That's Booty. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. I try to I try to do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I try to do my own. You know, sponsors, you know, happy. Got to Yeah, I'm working for them at this point. It ain't even just like fun lives anymore, like my regular impulsive lives. Got to be professional now, and you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Do, do what <laughs> do. Yeah, like, yeah. What's up with the lag? Are they like still like 45 minutes long, or? How oh no, 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 no! They got me off probation in the first week. They know, yo, boutique love the kids, man. So they know they like, nah, we ain't gonna keep him on probation too long. He be having the well, live spicy. Like 45? Is that what it is? 45 minutes? Is that the rule? No, my shit's no, go for like so four hours. <laughs> just boutique, just boutiques. I ain't gonna lie. Some people like if you, I don't know. It, it depends. Like if you, if you really, you, you conducting your lives. You got positive vibes and energies, and you have people in and out of they, the lives using their app. 
they put you on that VIP list. You know what I'm saying? Where it be different. It's just people. You just be on there. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna talk too much because then the haters might. You know. I don't know. I've been so I'm, gonna, many times I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna just shut up. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I gotta keep my fingers crossed. Cause tomorrow it'll be an hour. You know. <laughs> I, I get blocked all the time. Like, man, what the hell? And I, I asked to join. No, no, no. Time, I think I it could it be people. You know what I'm saying? Lucky thing. You know, I'm kind of like the Go people's champ. I don't try to get all kind of followers. I don't. You follow me, you follow me, you come on here, we talk, we acquaint ourselves. I try to follow you back, but I don't be trying to be on everybody platform just bringing in. I like to protect my energy. So now, like when you getting followers from all over the place, it'd be uh, all over the hate. You know, it's all over kind of hate. You know what I'm saying? So we got to practice on protecting our energy. It's very vital in this day and age, protecting your aura. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's mandatory. If you don't want to be, you know, involved in certain, you know, dilemmas and certain, you know, gang shit. it would be a lot of gang shit going on. Yeah. You know I've been blocked on your lives yeah. all the damn time. <laughs> no, nah, but you did. Hey, you found over here. You definitely found. You ain't lost. You, you, you gave us some free game. You know what I'm saying? And we accept you anytime. Anytime you send those requests, you <laughs> more than welcome. You know, certain people who got the VIP. Like, I'm rejected. I was like, God damn it. Like, <laughs> what? What? Yeah. Say that again? Like, one time I tried to get on your live, I sent that request, and then you approved it, and it kicked me off. Like, right oh, away, I was yeah, because I was about to say, not me. No, no, no. no, no. Instagram, that, you, that's been happening. Like, when you first get oh. off, sometimes if you don't see the person or whatever, they'll kick you back off, and then you have to get back on. So yeah. I, actually, I, was, I, I was like that. Follow, I couldn't get on any. I actually follow Raquel. I don't know if it's because of Max, but I believe I followed her. And now when I just dropped down and I saw your Instagram name, I was like, wait a minute. Now I can put a face to the name. <laughs> so, I've yeah, been gone no. for a bit. I've been so busy. Sorry. No. I think you were helping or something. And, and yes, you were. Yes. Yeah. I remember that. that. Whelping, stuff like that. And I'm going to school What's and I'm teaching at night. So I've just been. What's good? What's been good? On my grind. <laughs> so everybody in the comments, Cash Drop is giving you a lot of, you know, good hints, good information. Uh, I stamp approve anything Cash Drop says. That's that's right. that's of Medina. That's what guys that Yeah, for sure. Shout out to Cash Drop. We appreciate you. Yeah, you know, we love you Gina. doing what you we do you. in the live, you know what I'm saying? Much love. And again, less is more. You. Huge believer of less is more. If you have a healthy, you know, group of of dogs then less is more <laughs> yeah, right for right, sure right, for right. sure so how you What's doing a... um, you, you just oh yeah your... shout out to family frenchies <laughs> for um unique frenchie they said give you a shout out because you. you gave good feedback to them so shout out to family frenchie let's give her a round of applause you know what i'm saying uh, no, nothing, no one and nothing goes unnoticed. You know, sometimes I ignore you guys in the comments, but that's what we, you know, I can't do everything. I'm trying to do a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, Vice, what it do, City? What's the deal, brother? Yo, shout Ain't out nothing. Bro, for always having an entertaining life, bro. I'm here Thank you, man. Home. Let's not forget today. about educational now as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, the that's, that's my first entertainment. We always try to add that in the mix, but education is always first. You know what I'm saying? For real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. 100 percent Yeah, man. So what you in the airport right now? Yeah, I'm trying to get home. I, I was in Philly. Man, safe bus, flight, bro. Safe flight, man. Where's home? Where's home? My, yeah. Miami. You in Miami. What you mean? Miami. Miami. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro. Yo, Philly's nah. not too bad, man. Philly's cool. I was up yeah, 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 yeah. When you, until you get out the airport, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the 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 brotherly love city. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off. I gotta pick up my kids, so I must. Have, thanks for having me. On Thank you. Day. We'll talk soon. You already Thank know. Bless, bless. Yeah, I was a little skeptic there. You know, picking up the cash and dropping off the pub, but. But you know, after I met the guy, super cool, super good business. So yeah, um, yeah. No, no, no. They they don't got look. 
All right. It's certain states you got to worry about. But I, I you know, what? hey, what it do? What up, what's what up? up? What's up? We still in Vegas, sir? What's going on? Who that? Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Hey, you got me dizzy, it's dog. Cookie, you, it's well, I turn it back on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's good, my guy? How you guys doing? We vibing. You already know. We always chilling. Man, we up, we. It's good to see your background. It's still daytime over there. Over you know. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. So you you enjoying yourself? Yeah, man. It's dope out here, man. I'm getting some. I'm getting some love from the homies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the part of the live where everybody who's out of state right now is tuning in. And showing off like they making moves right now. You know what I'm saying? It's that part of the live. Yo, shout out to y'all, man. Y'all get home safe. For sure, for sure. Tomorrow and say we're in the Maldives, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to find a filter. that We got to buy that airplane filter. Yeah, where they buy hit, the, where they the, hit. Buy the green screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, you imagine? <laughs> Word. Yo, you should should I... that would take a green screen. Agreed. You right. Shit, I already got one. Shit, I just need the the the, the yeah the shit. You feel me? You, you just need the graphic design guy. Yeah. No, no, no. I, for sure, I need the one where you know I could put my sponsors. Like when I just get on the live, I could share the picture and be in the little box right there and have all my sponsors there too. You know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, bro. If you, if like you are familiar with Twitch. Twitch. Oh yeah, that that like the app, the platform, yeah. The platform, yeah. Yeah. So those 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 are more like more friendly and more they cater more to what you're trying to do. So I suggest looking into it. Yeah. It caters to you could do like multi screens. You could do so much stuff. Well, shit, I'll do that if y'all support me. All the forty one people in here, y'all go follow my Twitch and all that. We could get it popping. I'll download. Down yeah, that bro. Just for you, bro. I mean, uh, yeah, I have it already. So, and I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, especially people in the gaming community, they yeah, have that. No, it it'll help the 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 YouTube as well, like, cause it does the same thing as Instagram, the comments, all that stuff. So yeah, I I I tap in with it. But I ain't gonna lie, ain't nothing like Instagram Live, boy. Yeah, it's nah, just a nah, vibe, nah. man. I know, there ain't nothing like, but it's, you know, because just look it out. No, no, nah, nah, I will, bro. I will. Just have a secondary, um, uh, yeah, you're right. That's that's dope. I never thought of that. Thank you. No, because you ever watch those gamers? All those gamers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on YouTube? That's, that's how, that's what they use. They use Twitch because the editing and everything is so easier and it, it like caters to those type of people, you know? Got you, got you. So I, I, I think I, that'll help me out for real. At least, at least for the, we could do some lives for the, the community as well. Like a side of the Instagram lives, we could have another channel for the the other lives. You know, the Twitch lives. You know, so that's right. dope for real. Yeah, and I heard Twitch they they do shit where they like they sponsor you and certain yeah, things bro. too. Yeah, bro, 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 if your shit gets yeah. popping, bro, you, 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 you talk to some paid. dog food companies, you talk to some, you know, people, you'll, you'll get some sponsors, bro. You yeah, yeah. Look, I was telling him earlier, bro, you gotta understand, as far as, like, marketing goes, the dog game marketing is, is the beginning stages, you know? There's yeah. nobody that real, that's really saying, oh, look, I got a podcast, I got all this. There's no really, like, that big that I can say, and we, we know you because we're, we're in the dog game, you know? But I'm trying to, like, somebody that expands everywhere, that everybody knows them, not even, even if you're not in the dog game, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an early stage, you know? That Got you. Happen, yeah. you know? So there's yeah, you're that. right. Sure. Nah, you're Yo, right. Quick. I'm going to get on it, bro. We're, we're living in 2022, and this girl's in, like, 2055. Yeah, bro. Yeah, look, man. Look, no, no, no. Look, look at this. Hold on. Oh, let me look, turn look off. Look how she's sitting. <laughs> what? You missed. I can't. I can't turn. She's so <laughs> upside down on the chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, boutique. Did you see? Um, did you see the the video of that big girl, fluffy, covered in cream, going around? Mm. No, Els, what it do? <laughs> 
What's no, up? I'm trying to. No, I ain't see it yet. I don't think I seen it yet. For I sure, I don't. It, I just saw it today, bro. I I, I got like sixteen flight. weeks, right? Is that the one you're talking about? I don't know. I just got off the slide and my DMs were my DMs were popping with videos of the of the dog. It's in China. I think. Yeah, okay. I think I yeah, probably as I get off this live, it'll be the same way. I know I didn't. I didn't get none today, though, for sure. Frenchy yeah, TV, literally. what it do? Literally, like. So this how boutique. Forty-five minutes ago. Oh. Oh, well, I'm about to show it to you. Come here. Bye, hello, mama. Oh yeah, Hi, yeah, bro. yeah. She nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm about to tap out, bro. I gotta find my terminal. But I'll hit you All right, be safe, night. man. Be uh, safe. Just it, pray and get back to Miami. My bad. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, bro, she lilac and tan, Merle Karen testable. Lilac and tan? Yeah, bro. And this dope, dope. Right here, yeah, bro. that Yeah, that'd be the dopest that's lilac that's and tan. The one that carry testable. Yeah. That's my dog, and that's how I got a new shape. Yeah. yeah. And she going to Gordito, too, from MBK Bullies, bro. It's about to be pressure with her, bro. Pressure, pressure. That's so baby right there. You see how they double team in there, bro? They don't give her no chance. <laughs> yeah, whoa, shit, family Frenchies disappear. We ain't hit her with the... Creepy puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, you know, I, I got it. I got to hit you with that. We fuck up. Nah, it's you. nice in Vegas. Yo, you went to the hotel with the roller coaster? Uh, no, that's not go, one right there. You ain't do you ain't do the roller coaster, dog. Nah, nah, yeah, yo. It's only like twenty bucks, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll yeah, to it. and it's then they got another people. one. They got another one where you on the on the side of the hotel, just oh, no, spinning. You're talking about, you, you're talking about uh, the stratosphere, right on top of the stratosphere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it, and it like hangs off the edge and shit. Yes, yes, yes. Bro, That's enough. Yeah, that you got to bring you got to bring my boy cookies all over, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're about to go see some fun shit right now, man. Yeah, I already know the vibe. I see the traffic. Oh, no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see that in the purple coming down the escalator? Hold on, I try I try to get on that side. Okay, is a carnival out there or something? Uh, nah, nah, it's just Vegas, yo. Mm. That's part of Vegas, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sin, you know, Sin City. Yup. <laughs> For real. I saw them. We're driving down. I saw two girls, with, I mean, completely topless before, yo. Just walking down. Yeah, right? man. They said the pee is legal out there. Uh. <laughs> uh, well, not not in nah. Vegas. You have to go. You have to go to like uh, kind of like where Bunny Ranch is. You yeah. Know, okay. Where, where all of them got caught up. Yeah. 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 That that area, yes, is legal. But right here in Vegas, uh, like is not. But like. Oh, so they the they area, so now that saying uh whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas kind of dead I mean, now. <laughs> I mean, no, no, I mean, you already know it's, it's Sin nah, it's you already know it's in City, so it's going to happen regardless. But yeah. what I'm saying, legally, it's over there, that's towards that area, you know? Yeah. Not Yo, the when I've been to Vegas, Vegas, Vegas could take all your money as soon as you exit the plane. Bro. <laughs> they got jack like, slot machines in the fucking airport. They don't even give you a chance to think about gambling. They are. They hitting Bro, really. you with it. You Bro, know what I'm yeah. saying? That's the they got that shit in every fucking gas station right here. Yo, man, I was at the MGM when I went out there. I like that that the vibe over there. It's, it's a nice, it's I'm like a party sure, you know, part. There's people here that, that, that came here and never, never left. Yeah, sure. yeah. It's people who, 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 who yeah, yeah, mentally, mentally fucking insane out there for sure. Gamble problems, they get you. Oh, bro. Look, man, I know some guy, like, this is like a backstory, you know? He, he works yeah. at the morgue, right? You know, he, mm -hmm. so he, preps, he preps the corpse, you know? Yeah. And uh, he tells me that half the shit, that it gets it gets thrown under the bus, bro, and people don't know about it. And he was saying that it has to do with a lot of debts. People come, they put their house up for debt. You know, they use their house for collateral. They end up yeah. losing the money, and they get depressed, bro. And then in the same room they came in, they, 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 they leave room. it. Yep, yeah. yep. I believe that. That's true. 
that's the real gamble heads like so they, you, you, yeah that's why they call it sin city that shit ain't it ain't nothing nice it, you might think it's nice but your best bet is to go have fun and get the fuck out because Nigga, yo, you sleeping with ghosts in your room, nigga. A lot of dead people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like real talk. Bro. He was telling me that that there's some crazy stories that he'll think that come out on the news the next day or something, but nothing. It gets tucked in. Yeah, no, no, because they, they they'll fuck up it's the tourism. Spot, so they don't, yeah, they don't want that type of yeah. lies, you know. Yeah. But I'm glad you uh, gave me awareness, so I know, bitch. I lose my house, get back on that plane, and. And go stay at somebody's house till I get back on my feet. Fuck that. No, I got you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crazy people. Really. Vegas will suck you up if you can't handle it. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Nah, but yeah, you guys, I'm about to, you know, call the live quits. Let me give the, the sponsors a shout out real quick. Shout out to my new, newest sponsor, Dogtown Frenchie Collection and A Cut From Above. Chris, back up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Shout out to those guys. Shout out to Doggy Style. Use that code Miami10 when you get your merch or whatever. You'll get a percentage off. Wilder Bulldog Kennels, Westbred Frenchies, NC Frenchie Family, Rainbow League Frenchies, Best Friend underscore MIA, and Lux Quality Frenchies. Let's not forget about Cassie 0209. And that's how we gonna do it. So, boom. What I want to do as well is I'm going to let y'all know, like I said, for the 24 people in here, make sure y'all go over to my YouTube page and click the link in the bio and subscribe. This video will be going on YouTube today. And then we're going to do probably another like a little demon time live at the crib. You know, them lives be spicy at the crib. You know what I'm saying? We just going to turn up and have some fun later on tonight. But let me get back over there so I can get on gummy 